teenage men went to jail for a murder they did not commit. Sentenced to death on the testimony of a single juvenile witness, the men continued to protest their innocence through the years of incarceration. On Friday, nearly 40 years later, they walked out of prison after the state's witness in the case admitted that he concocted his testimony under police intimidation. A case suffused with emotion culminated in exoneration Friday morning when Cuyahoga County Common Pleas Judge Richard McMonagall formally dismissed all charges against Jackson after a brief hearing. Bridgman, whose case was heard separately, was exonerated two hours later by Judge David Mattia. The two joined Bridgman's younger brother, Ronnie, who was found guilty of the same crime and eventually paroled in 2003. The three were originally jailed for the 1975 murder of Harry Franks, a Cleveland businessman, after a 12-year-old witness, Edward Vernon, told police that he had seen them attack the victim. No physical evidence linked them to the crime scene. Jackson was just 19 when he was sentenced to die, Wiley Bridgman was 20, and Ronnie was 17. Wiley Bridgman, now 60, quietly thanked the judge and attorneys in the courthouse as his case was dismissed. He had once been less than three weeks away from execution, rescued when the U.S. Supreme Court struck down Ohio's previous capital punishment law in 1978. The case was a major victory for the Ohio Innocence Project, which coordinated much of the investigation into the exonerating evidence and whose staff attorney, Brian Howe, represented Jackson. Terry Gilbert and David Mills, who together represented the brothers, worked with the Innocence Project during the case. In the spirit of Motorhome Diaries and Liberty on Tour, I intend to take the message of peace, love, and liberty on the road. To find out more about the tour or to donate, visit tour.fppradio.com. That's T-O-U-R dot F-P-P-Radio dot com. The BBC reports a U.S. House of Representatives investigation has found no wrongdoing by the Obama administration in responding to the deadly 2012 attack on the U.S. consulate in Benghazi, Libya. The inquiry by the Republican-run House Intelligence Committee also said there was no intelligence failure and no delay in sending a CIA rescue team. The Obama administration had been accused of mishandling its response. In a report released on Friday, the committee dismissed a claim that the CIA... This is the Onion Week in Review, pushed to the breaking point after constantly being taken to task without ever hearing a word of thanks for what it does around here. An overwhelmed and infuriated nation announced Wednesday that it was trying, okay? Jesus Christ. A poll of the American populace revealed that 33% felt they were doing pretty damn well, all things considered, while another 28% just wanted two measly minutes without somebody breathing down their damn neck. A group of female friends spent a raucous night on the town Thursday validating the living shit out of each other. You're the most talented person I know. Eyewitness reports say the women absolutely went to town on a session of non-judgmental reassurances. Last night was crazy. I don't even remember half the uplifting things I said to Karen. We've always been the kind of group that listens hard and consoles even harder. And in other news, a group of semester at sea students steal an anchor for their dorm room. A five-year-old wants to be an overworked Haitian nanny when he grows up. And every group of friends at a karaoke bar ruins every other group's night. This is the Onion News Network. This is Free Talk Live. It's the live Saturday edition of the program. You can dial in toll-free. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE, 855-450-3733. With you tonight, you've got Ian here. And Mark. And, of course, you can join us via Skype at Skype username lrn.fm. Send a contact request. It will be approved. It is that simple. Now, again, whatever's on your mind, last night we did talk about the immigration thing, but a lot of our listeners only get us on Saturday night, so feel free. You're welcome to comment on that if you want. And some people may be really upset as a result of this immigration stuff, or maybe they're upset that the Republicans won this year, you know, in the, the political elections. There's always something to be upset about, about what the government is doing and the people in government. And so... Why not support secession? Why not start advocating more uh, the idea that states should be free to leave the United States? We've got a story here from LouRockwell.com and the Abbeville Institute's Donald Livingston called The Left Needs Secession Too. Because I think secession for too long has been pigeonholed unfairly 
as something that only people on the right support. In this country. Uh, yeah. People on the left in all kinds of countries. As a matter of Catalonia. fact, uh, it's a leftist movement to secede because conservatism, basically by its definition, Keep is, it the same. is a har- right. It's it's harkening back to some point in the past, relatively recently usually, not you know, not a century or two. Well the conservative position would be we have fifty states and that's the way it ought to stay. Yeah. Right. Uh, you, you might have a conservative position that uh, there that there should only be forty eight. Okay. Right. Like I like the. If Pat- the conservative has been alive since before the 1950s, right. right? I saw the George Patton movie. Um, there was a flag with 48 stars behind him. That's when America was at its greatest. So we should have 48 states, not 50, or something like that. Um, that would be the sort of conservative position. Secession is, by its definition, a leftist movement. So here's a story from LouRockwell.com. Self-government and the secession required for it in oversized states are as much of a province of the left as of political conservatives. It was the left that raised the question of secession after Al Gore lost the presidency to George W. Bush. They wondered why that they had to be yoked with the same people and policies of the red states which they deplored. I really wonder this myself. Now, think about it for a second. You, the, with with uh, with the exception of about ten, a handful of of purple states. You know, there's some swing states out there. Um, there's no doubt about it. With a handful of swing states, their states are pretty solidly red or blue. Why in the world? Are the red states being run by a blue uh, wash, uh, White House or the blue states being run by a wet, red White House? Why? The only answer is that's the way it's always been in our lifetime. It doesn't serve anybody. No, if it you really doesn't. wanted to achieve something, let the blue people do their thing and the red people do their thing. Had the red states raised the same question, the media would have ignored it or rolled out its usual rhetoric that the Civil War settled all that. But coming from the left, it got some fairly sympathetic attention. I remember a call from Harper's Magazine where I had published an essay on a related topic asking if I thought secession was a serious possibility. When the left talks about secession, the media listens with respect. But on, not all secession contemplates dividing the union into two or more federations. It's possible to secede from a state and form a new state. The western counties of Virginia seceded and formed the state of Kentucky. Virginia was again divided by secession when West Virginia was formed. Maine. Yeah, I mean, that was, oh, there was a war going on, and that was the north allowing a uh, portion of Virginia to stay. And plenty of people from West Virginia left to fight for uh, the Confederacy, uh, the Hatfields and McCoys, for instance. Maine, Tennessee, and other states were formed from secession. Norman Mailer ran for mayor of New York in 1967 on a platform that the city should secede and form the 51st state. 27 countries. And by the way, I think a lot of New York State would really love for New York City to secede. I don't see why. I mean, you know, it, they're, they're yoked together for no good particular reason. Norman, uh, let's see here, 27, 27 counties in Northern California voted to secede and form the 51st state in 1972, but the legislature refused to grant the request. Today, there's a movement That's in the water rights. Arizona to detach the counties in the Baja region to form a new state, Baja, Arizona. Tom Johnson, a leftist blogger in the Daily Wildcat, urges the movement on, observing that the Baja region is liberal progressive, while the remaining part of the state is largely made of white conservatives. Well, and think about that for a second, what it's like to be in a region of a state where you know you're never going to have any political power, you're outnumbered, you're a minority, and it doesn't matter to me whether it's red or blue. There's plenty of states where it's like, you know, like this. Consider for a second California, this giant piece of coastline. If it was on the East Coast, it would stretch from Maine to North Carolina. Wow. I mean, it's huge. That's shocking. And it, I mean, you know, it encompasses an area of, say, 10 states, maybe more, um, it, it, you know, just sort of on uh, the, the, size, the size of East Coast states. But it's over there on the West Coast. It's, one, it's a country. It's not a state. Campaigning for new states, Johnson says, could be the way disenfranchised populaces gain political power. Why, for example, should the liberal and non-white people of the American South have to, uh, have to have reduced political capital than their neighbors' racism and conservatism? In presenting secession as a leftist strategy, Johnson draws inspiration from Chuck Thompson's book, Better Off Without Him, A Northern Manifesto for Southern Secession. For two years, Thompson traveled throughout the South, seeking to understand the natives of the southern red states. The book expresses the author's disdain for nearly all things southern. Country music, NASCAR, its Christian culture, its opposition to gun control, abortion, gay marriage, and the like. 
and he concludes the nation would be better off if the South were allowed to secede and free a progressive America from its dead weight. Well, um, you know, I mean, I, I, I think that states should be able to secede if they want, and there's no good reason for them to be glued together. I don't have the same uh, proclivities that that author has uh, that, that, you know, I find that a little upsetting. Plus, I'd like to know, what about Florida? Really, I don't think regions... It, I don't think we're nearly as well served if regions break off I agree. as if we... I think that I, federations would be a better choice, but I think that states should be... Uh, you know, th- themselves more autonomous. Yeah, well, I wouldn't want to be saddled. I mean, we're here in New Hampshire. Uh, I wouldn't yeah. want to be saddled with Massachusetts or Vermont or Maine. No, not at all. Uh, Thanks. So after all, or excuse me, what Thompson finds disgusting about being shackled to the South, Tom Johnson finds disgusting about his own state, which has long been divided between a left-wing progressive section centered in Tucson and a right-wing section in Phoenix, each pulling its shared state in a tug of war from one side to the other. The solution would be secession in the formation of a new state, Baja, Arizona. An attempt to put a, uh, an attempt to put secession on the ballot in 2012 failed, but Thompson thinks it should be tried again. After all, he says, the government can't ignore partition supporters if they're loud enough for long enough. Disenfranchised populations should be using this tactic as a tool to save themselves from old white people afraid of demographic death. No, I don't know what that means either. There's lots of old white people that want different things. And to Baja, Arizona, those kinds of people are exactly the sort of vultures keeping this state down. So cry havoc and campaign onwards for 2016 to bring Baja, Arizona into being. And to be blunt, Baja, Arizona does not deserve to be shackled to a populace whose interests it gets along with about as well as baking soda and vinegar do. Unquote. <laughs> I, I don't know how um, how small of an area should sort of be able to secede. But I mean, um, what if a, well, just one county wants to go? Really? What if a county wants to go off and do its own Why thing? Why shouldn't they be able to? I mean, there are small states all around the world. Look at, uh, you know, Andorra, for instance. Or- Why do I need – they are – as a matter of fact, you know what a count is? A count is somebody who rules a county. county. And counts were either autonomous, um, like the, you know, Landora, Liechtenstein, um, you know, there's a few others out there, Luxembourg, um, we can see today. Or um, they were, you know, saddled to a king. They were, you know, for whatever the king reason, they decided that it would be better off to go with the king and, and stick with him. And that there you have the larger states in Europe. Though Johnson and Thompson have contempt for the South, we welcome their attachment to that most Southern of all principles, secession for the sake of self-government. Secession is not a Southern principle. That's ridiculous. (laughs) Well, at least to the people in the United States, they would consider it probably that. You know what? Stick your head up out of the hole in the ground and take a look around. A um, uh, hundred years ago in Europe, there were fewer than a hundred countries. Oh, excuse me, a hundred years, years ago, there were fewer than a hundred countries around the world. Mm. Now there's more than 200, um, depending on how, who, who you let do the counting. So secession is by no means a southern thing. Sure, you could say it's an American thing if you wanted. Because... It's not an American thing. Nobody in the, the, the country has seceded from Europe, and that was the yeah. last time they allowed it. We'll come back. Uh, Your calls and thoughts are welcome on secession, immigration, whatever happens to be on your mind tonight here on this live edition of Free Talk Live on Saturday night. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Here's a special message for those of you who owe the IRS at least 10000 or more in back taxes. The IRS has special programs in place that could eliminate or reduce your tax debt by thousands of dollars. Call the tax helpline that has been set up to help you. 800-691-6129. That's 800-691-6129. Stop the wage garnishments, levies, and tax liens now. Once you've qualified and enrolled, the IRS will stop all the collection activities against you. These unique programs have been allocated to help the economy and significantly reduce or eliminate your tax burden. The IRS is currently accepting reduced settlements and other favorable programs. You may qualify for substantial savings, so get the help you need. For free information and to see if you qualify, take down the number now for the Tax Representation Hotline. 800-691-6129. That's 800-691-6129. 800-691-6129. 
Adam Miller here with Midas Resources. Today is October 29th, 2014. Gold opened at 1223.40. A one ounce gold coin can be purchased for 1268.34, 634.17 for a half ounce, or 317.09 for a quarter ounce. That's 1268.34, 634.17, and 317.09. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. Have you ever wondered why banks, stockbrokers, investment advisors won't talk about gold IRAs? Wait a sec. Gold and silver is going up while Congress is trying to settle on the next debt increase, and there's no end to this madness. That old 401k and IRA can be converted into physical gold without tax consequences. I explain this in my book, 10 Reasons to Buy Gold. Don't let time slip away. Call for your free copy today, 800-686-2237. Get away from that Washington spin and get honest answers about gold. 800-686-2237. The book is free, 800-686-2237. Free Talk Live. That's all libertarians are saying is let's stop the violence. And really, when you put it in those terms, it sounds kind of liberal. Let's stop the violence. Sure, right? it's, a, it's a movement about peace and personal responsibility. That could very easily sound like, uh, when you use the word peace, sounds liberal. You know. Right. So if the first libertarian you ever meet or hear on the radio is just talking about making government smaller, I can totally understand why you would get confused and think that it, you know, just a bunch of ultra-right wingers. That's one of the reasons why I kind of shy away from labeling myself that way. Often we get terms like radical used towards us, mm -hmm. but... Uh, radical, really? Peace, personal responsibility, voluntary interaction between individuals? That's radical? I'll tell you what's radical. Radical's using a gun and a bunch of guys in, in armored suits with helmets to enforce your will on people. Free Talk Live, seven nights a week from 7 to 10 Eastern, live on the Liberty Radio Network at lrn.fm. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. Liberty activists around the country are starting to realize politics alone won't set us free. So what will? At Liberty on the Rocks, we believe the answer starts with living your principles, spreading ideas, and connecting with those around you. By starting a Liberty on the Rocks network, you can make a difference by uniting libertarian thinkers. Find out how much fun it is to build your local network from the ground up. Visit libertyontherocks.org today to get started. You're listening to the best liberty-oriented audio streamed around the clock, on the air, and online. This is the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. Free Talk Live, you are invited to take control of the airwaves here, toll free at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. You can join us online. Just go to freetalklive.com and enjoy the features that we share with you. They're all free. Those other talk show hosts who want to charge you for accessing their sites, you can go and actually create the content, submit stuff right there to the front page. Maybe it's a YouTube video or a blog post, a news item, something you think is interesting that you think will think is interesting or our other listeners will as well and you can vote it up or down whatever's on that front page there go to uh, freetalklive.com and get interactive at coffee.freetalklive.com you can get a free pound a free pound of the best of the best coffee it's shade grown 100 percent organic top one percent grade arabica beans it's the best coffee you can get it's buzzbox coffee and uh, as a matter of fact, when it comes to coffee, coffee is one of the more absorbent crops, and so that organic label is even more important. Consider that coffee is grown in countries where let out, leaded gas isn't outlawed, or um, you know maybe pesticides that we would never use here in this country um, are 
used on a regular basis over there. So that may be important to you, but what is likely important to you is helping people. And BuzzBox gives us the opportunity to do that. They give back some of their profits to us, and we're able to loan it out through Kiva.org. We could have used any charity, but we wanted to use Kiva.org. And the reason is is because they give microloans. People ask for things specifically, for loans for things that they want specifically, and I believe that they know best what they need in their lives for a hand up, not a hand out, out of poverty. And then they pay the money back, and we can give the money to somebody else. I think it's a great program, and if you support helping people around the world get out of poverty, because personal freedom's great, but you need to be able to eat. Coffee.freetalklive.com to get your free pound. Get started. You pay for the shipping. We pay for the pound. Yes, it is a subscription. You can cancel at any time. Coffee.freetalklive.com. Apparently, there's a brand new ISIS video that has been released. I am working on tracking it down now as we speak. We'll see if we can find out more about that here in a moment. Apparently, uh, hostage John Cantley, who has been the one who's been hosting these ISIS videos, is now saying he will likely be executed in a, an upcoming ISIS video, which is just disturbing and horrifying and bizarre all at once. As Indeed we, it is. Uh, go to your phone calls and thoughts. We were also talking about secession and how secession's for everybody, whether you consider yourself on the left or the right or you're liberty-oriented or whoever it is, you know, whatever your political viewpoint is, unless you're in a total authoritarian. I guess an author total authoritarian would not support secession because they just want more control and secession would mean less control. So I guess those, those would be the kind of people who would oppose secession. But what about you? Michael's in Virginia Beach and listening to WNIS. Hello, Michael. Hello there. Hey. Uh, before I go into my uh, little thing about secession, I want to congratulate you. Um, a couple of nights ago, I was listening to uh, Clyde Lewis, and he uh, announced a, a news flash that uh, the uh, former president of Israel had taken us up on our idea that uh, we first introduced here on Free Talk Live, the idea of a United Nations for religions. This I is not an idea are, that I have introduced anywhere. Is this your idea, Michael? Is that what you're saying? Well, I, I called in one night and I suggested the idea, and you said you thought it was a good idea. Yeah, well, you know, and, we haven't promoted uh, it since. I don't remember it. What does it mean? A United yeah, Nations for religions? Warm Tell us up on it. What does that mean? Well, he he was described, uh, Simone Perez, as just having uh, met in the Vatican uh, with the Pope and suggested that the Pope alone could start a movement to create a United Nations of Religions to solve all disputes between religions. How would that work and exactly? I I don't think I would have supported something like that. I think it sounds like a great idea. Let people talk, more talking's better. Okay. Well, I just mentioned that, but how do you know that the the talking won't lead to more fighting? <laughs> why, why can't the religions just leave each other alone without having to argue about stuff? I mean, well, so okay, we've tried well, that and it doesn't but, work. Well, let me let me go to the secession issue. Uh, do you know what happened in 1929 in the way of secession? that created the smallest country in the world, still exists today as the smallest country in the world, only 108 acres big. Uh, is this a quiz? I don't know what it is. Andorra? I don't know. That country is the Vatican. It is recognized okay. by 175 nations. 175 nations have ambassadors that they exchange with the Vatican, and yet the Vatican is a country, the citizenship of which, the voting citizenship of which, is fewer than a dozen most of the time, sometimes for decades, uh, the average voting uh, number of voting citizens on the Vatican's territory it's fewer than a dozen people, really, and its total and its total population is only a hundred and fifteen cardinals. Incredible. And yet the United. And I didn't realize United that about States, Vatican City. Is that Vatican City you're talking about? Yeah, but you're about? not welcome, Ian. That's right. That's fine. I don't right. want to go there. And 
But it's and, impressive. And I mean, exactly. that they can have their own country and be so small. I mean, why shouldn't that be emulated? Well, they seceded under the Lateran Treaty with the gr- the good graces of uh, Benito Mussolini. Uh, he was all for it. And what what I'm uh, suggesting or asking here is why should the United States? What statecraft function is is satisfied? By exchanging ambassadors... I don't know. I'm a, baffled. A, it sounds like the biggest waste of, uh, <laughs> of, of diplomatic money I've ever heard. Thanks, Michael, for the call. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. You can bring up what you want. Alma is on the line in Tallahassee. Uh, you're on Hi, Free Talk please. Live. Hi, Alma. You're listening to WVFT. Go I ahead. I can't remember your names. I'm not a name okay. remember. But Ian and Mark. I Go ahead. Callers. They've been really good. But Wackadoodle is here now. You know, I was thinking about getting a group together because we're us older people are so frustrated anymore. I want to talk about five cents Coca Colas again, and I uh, have a guy that comes around once a month. I mean, once a week, and we sit and we talk three hours. It's so nice to talk to him. I get his opinion. He stares at me like I'm a nut, but you know, I pull stuff out of him. He's a Scientologist, and uh, he's a very sweet man. And I said, I want to get a group together and come over and let's just once a month just have a conversation about five cents Coca Cola, what's going on in the world. And you're smart people. What do you think about that suggestion? Should I do this or not? Well, it's always a good idea to get people together for um, a little chit chat, chit chatting. No, what's the goal of this to talk friends. about Scientology? I'm not real clear on. Oh no, oh he's a Scientologist, but I teach him about. Well, we're not going to go there because I know. We agree to disagree on a lot of things. I love y'all, but we agree to disagree, okay? Okay. By the but way, we still have five-cent Coke, I'd like to, to mention. What are you talking about? If, you look, if you look at a 1960 nickel and its component uh, metals. <laughs> ah, the silver it's nickel. Worth, it's worth about a dollar, dollar fifty. There you go. Alma, thanks for the call tonight. I appreciate it. Good luck with the plans there. And as far as like getting the religions together to hash out the issues. I don't know what that's going to do for anything. I mean, I guess you're right, Mark. It doesn't hurt to talk. It gives people a voice. 855-450-FREE is the toll-free number. You can share your thoughts here on Free Talk Live. For all our loyal listeners, it's time for another giveaway. Over the next 30 days, our friends at SupernaturalSilver.com are giving away six 16-ounce Supernatural Silver liquid valued at nearly $100 per bottle or their skin and body gel priced at $49.98. All you have to do is enter and win at GCNlive.com. Hurry, contest ends December 5th. GCN can give you and your loved ones a fighting chance with the Supernatural Silver giveaway at GCNlive.com. This is Dan Pilla. Do you owe the IRS money you can't pay? Are tax debts crippling you? I've defended people from the IRS for over 30 years. I've helped thousands, and I can help you too. I wrote the book on IRS settlement, and I'm telling you, there's no such thing as a hopeless case. Call 800-34-NO-TAX to finally get free of IRS debt. With the IRS's new programs, there's never been a better time to solve your problem. Call 800-34-NO-TAX. That's 800-34-NO-TAX or my website, danpilla.com. Listen, you've heard the commercials before. Whether you owe 15000 or $15 million in tax debt to the IRS or state, we can help. On a never-ending payment plan? Penalties and interest killing you? Missing tax returns? Being garnished or levied? Not a problem. If you qualify, we can remove levies and garnishments within days or even hours of hiring our firm. If you've been summonsed, or even worse, receiving tax warrants in the mail, call right now. Are you a business owner with back payroll taxes? Is the IRS or state threatening to close your business you've worked so hard to build? Protect yourself and your business. Even if you've tried in the past, new guidelines could potentially qualify you today. So what are you waiting for? We can take that tax monkey off your back. Call the tax monkey now. 800-281-6030. 800-281-6030. 800-281-6030. That's 800-281-6030. Shiny badges on your jacket. Shiny badges. 
this is Davi Barker from ShinyBadges.com, and I just want to personally apologize for airing a jingle week after week, month after month, that turned out to be such an infectious brain worm. So to make it up to you, I'm offering a free gift. The next time you make a purchase at ShinyBadges.com, write WORMS in the transaction comments, and I'll send you something weird. You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone, 213-493-0308. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. Free Press Publications is an independent, alternative media and publishing company founded in June 2009 with the mission of ensuring a free press for the freedom movement and is committed to spreading the message of peace, freedom, love, and liberty. FPP also gives new authors an avenue for publishing freedom-oriented material. FPP brings you daily news and commentary on the website fpp.cc, as well as a daily five-minute newscast, FPP Radio News, and weekly news, views, and commentary in the FPP Freedom Minute and Peace, Love, Liberty Radio at fppradio.com, and the monthly newspaper, FPP News at news.fpp.cc. Find FPP online at FPP.cc. That's FPP.cc, as in Creative Commons. While our satellite channel is free to listen to, it's not free for us. You can help us cover our satellite costs with the chip-in on the right side of the page at LRN.fm. It's Free Talk Live. We're doing a live Saturday edition of the program as we do a live everyday edition of the show. We're here seven days a week live, 7 to 10 at night Eastern Time. Uh, and if we're not on your local talk radio station yet, you can always call them during the week, during business hours, talk to the program director and ask them real nicely for Free Talk Live. If you're already getting some Free Talk Live, you can call and say thanks. Or ask for some more, because we do, as I said, do the show seven nights a week. Now, gold and silver... We're big fans of it. Mark, you were just talking a moment ago about the silver nickels. I don't have the silver nickels, but I did get some of the silver no. dimes. Yeah, there's a silver nickel. Uh, nickels aren't... I don't know what the uh, metal content of nickels are. I imagine there's some nickel in it. Oh, didn't um, you just say it, nickels in the last segment? I was talking about old nickels. I said oh, the I'm metal sorry. content of the old oh. nickels. And I imagine it's changed since 1960 because... I know that people want them, mm. but I don't know for what reason uh, pre precisely. You know, I don't know oh. what the me metallurgical content of old nickels is. But if you think for a second, you know that the content of uh, dimes and nickels isn't the same. I didn't think about that, no. Because dimes are significantly smaller than nickels. Yeah, yeah, right. good point. Yeah, so a dime is uh, what that 90%, what they call junk silver, coin silver, um, in the same way that uh, half dollars and dollars were, and quarters. Ah, see, I'm not an expert on this whole silver stuff, but I like it because it's shiny and <laughs> other people like it too. Well, and you can get some at silver.freetalklive.com. There are all kinds of reasons to get uh, metal at uh, silver.freetalklive.com or gold.freetalklive.com. You pick. It's the same site. It goes to the same place. And, uh, you know, it may be as a hedge against inflation, inflation, a uh, barter currency in case things go really badly, or you could believe, like I do, that silver is priced really low and is going to be headed up upwards here relatively soon, mm. and that now's a good time to get some. So go to gold.freetalklive.com, or I'll give you the telephone number. Uh, it's actually there at the website at gold.freetalklive.com, 877-857-9938. 877-857-9938 for gold and silver uh, coins and pieces and rounds and all those sorts of things. 877-857-9938, gold.freetalklive.com. Yeah, it, uh, that's pretty cheap right now. I mean, the silver price is below 17 bucks at the spot. Yep. That's incredible. I mean, what, within the last year or two, it seems like it was as high as 30-something. Uh, I, I remember it at 50 at one point. It, touched, it kissed 50 at one point. Yeah. So you can take control here. Let's go to Tom in Detroit. You're on Free Talk Live. Hello, Tom. Hey, guys. How are you this hey. evening? What's on your mind tonight? Uh, just, want, 
wanted to call and uh, kind of correct you guys. I, I have gathered quite a bit of junk silver, and the only nickels that contain silver are the uh, what they call the war nickels. All the other coins, the dimes, the quarters, and the and the half dollars, of course, pre sixty four all are you know ninety percent silver. But the only nickels that contain silver are what they call the war nickels because they needed nickel back then and the other alloys that were in nickels. Hmm. And they uh, that's the only one. So how much wanted, silver do they contain? Correct. The war nickels or nickels? Uh, war nickel, the war nickels. The war nickel. Uh, you know what? It's not ninety percent. Uh, I believe it's forty percent. Off the top of my head, it's forty huh. percent. So just just wanted to square, square you guys up on that one. Hey, thanks, Tom, for that info. I appreciate the call tonight. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. Now, Mark, you didn't uh, come prepared with this story. You were kind of questioning it, uh, but there was some headline about a woman being arrested in Virginia for supporting ISIS. And I just found that to be a really disturbing headline. I asked you to learn more about it, and you said you didn't really think it was a good story. What was the reason for that? Why don't I think it's a good story? Yeah. Um, because, it, it, okay, so she talked to an undercover FBI agent, mm-hmm. uh, this woman. Her name is Heather Kaufman. Yep. And, uh, you know, I mean, do I, I don't know where uh, freedom of speech stops and where conspiracy to commit uh, terrorism begins. Um, she spoke to an FBI agent, and in that conversation, she told that FBI agent, without sort of any evidence, that she could facilitate getting somebody into ISIS. Now, this woman has been posting all over the interwebs that she loves ISIS, and ISIS is great, and she doesn't like uh, Zionists and gay people. Hmm. And, uh, you know, this is this is her thing, right? Like, so she's a nutty lady who lives yep, with her parents. Crazy. Yep. Um, and... Uh, so the feds went to meet with her. Yeah, and- well, they didn't. What after they sent in the 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 uh, the, the undercover agent, right. then they essentially arrested her and asked questions. And at that point, she denied things, and then she got a lying to the feds charge. So, right. in in my opinion, so she's not facing a charge for supporting ISIS as much as she is lying to the feds. Well, she's facing charges for uh, trying to, you know, to, for saying that she could facilitate getting somebody into ISIS. Mm, okay. So, is that a conspiracy? I don't know if that's conspiracy. I mean, how much? What do you mean by saying you could get somebody in? Does that mean that uh, you know, hey, I've got a friend I'd like to get in. I can help. Well, um, you know, here's his name and number. Thanks mm-hmm. very much. Is that conspiracy? It seems flimsy. But then lying to a federal officer, they don't record those conversations. No, they don't. And so they can say whatever they want to say in that conversation. And now she's sitting in a federal jail. Um, I don't know if this seven-year-old boy, who's sh- sh- she's the mother of, is better off with his mother in jail in this circumstance. Hmm. Is she a flight risk? I don't know the answer to that. She's certainly not guilty. She hasn't had her day in court yet. I think that somebody should only be in jail if they're a flight risk, and I think we have a real problem in this country with incarcerating people before sentencing. But um, you know, I'm, I I I don't think this is an open and shut case. Of- so it wasn't necessarily that she got on Facebook, posted that she loves ISIS, and was arrested for that. You're right. saying they they used that information to investigate her further, and during that investigation, when she met up with an undercover cop. He, you know, got her to claim she had connections with ISIS, and then turns out after they arrested her, she says she doesn't actually have the connections. She was just talking tough, and so that's why she's facing charges. Yeah, and I, I, I would imagine if that's the case, if she's a tough talker um, and she didn't have any connections, at this point there is no evidence presented by anybody that she has any connections to ISIS other than pictures she's gotten off the Internet. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, you know, if that's the case— I'm reasonably certain that the American public is not served by locking lunatics up in jail um, who have not harmed anybody. Should people be charged, and I don't, you don't need to answer this. I'm asking you, the listener. Uh, you, Mark, do not need to answer this. You, the listener. Should people be charged criminally? Because this is what I originally heard when you had told me about the headline on this story was that you know, she was being arrested for supporting ISIS. Well, that's and, what Ars Technica suggested yeah. in the in the title of the uh, the article. And that's not to say that couldn't happen. I mean, we've seen rappers get arrested for lyrics about killing cops, and those are just lyrics. It's just fantasy. It's just you know, yep, 
fiction. People uh, to people writing little stories online, um, you know, and it's not being very clear that that story was fictional. We've had people arrested who have left the country, or rather attempted to leave the country. Remember the young man who was at the, I think it was a Chicago airport, was arrested prior to getting on the plane because it was his intention to go and join ISIS. So he didn't actually join ISIS. He didn't actually take any action to hurt somebody or do any kind of violence. He just had a plan to join ISIS allegedly, and they arrested him for that. So they're, you know, they're they're pretty damn close to being able to arrest somebody for actually speaking out in in favor of ISIS. And I guess my question is, should that be something they're arresting people for? I mean, how would anybody possibly support that idea? I understand that you you might be opposed to the idea of ISIS. But shouldn't people I in sure the United, <laughs> shouldn't people in the United States, the supposed bastion of free speech, shouldn't they be free to say that they support ISIS? Not that they necessarily are giving money to them, or that they because you know that would be considered giving material support to terrorism by the United States. But is saying I like them is is that giving material support to them? I I think we're close to them making a making an arrest like that. It seems like they're skirting it. To me now that didn't apparently that didn't happen in this case, but should we be arrested for playing ISIS videos here on Free Talk Live? We've gone through this whole series of the both the beheading videos and the John Cantley videos where their you know captive John Cantley has been. Yeah, speaking but I don't to think anybody could interpret our playing of these videos, um, the audio from these videos, as supporting ISIS. They could interpret it as providing uh, support for ISIS by spreading their propaganda. I suppose. I mean, I don't want to make their case for them or anything like that. I believe in free speech, and I think that well, all I don't sides play, of an issue well, I don't to be play heard. Something, I, I won't play something because I believe in free speech. I'll play something because I believe there's mater- there's value for it uh, well, for yeah. my audience. And in this case, I believe that we do need to know what the other side thinks. There is a new video out, and I don't take sides in this, by the way. I'd like to make it clear. I don't take the American side. I take the side, side against cutting people's heads off. Or the ISIS side. It's Free Talk Live. Mirror, mirror on the wall. How did I become so fat? If you're a woman over 40 and you're having trouble losing extra weight, please call the Amberin Hotline now at 1-800-959-4261. After 40, your body changes, and so should your weight loss strategy. At Amberin, we specialize in breakthrough solutions specifically tailored to women over 40, including hormonal balance, relief from menopausal symptoms like hot flashes. And you can lose pounds of stubborn extra weight in just weeks with Amberin Weight Loss. Right now, through this special radio offer, you can get a 100% risk-free trial. Just call 1-800-959-4261 now. So if you're a woman over 40 and you're tired of looking in the mirror and not liking what you see, call the Amberin Hotline today. Hurry. This limited time 100% risk-free offer won't last forever. Call 1-800-959-4261. That's 1-800-959-4261. Again, 1-800-959-4261. The human body is extraordinary. Despite all the stresses we inflict upon it, it still works hard to stay in balance. Thousands upon thousands of people rely upon heart and body extract to help their body stay balanced. This excellent 100% natural herbal formula helps maintain healthy blood pressure levels, cleans arteries, promotes good circulation, balances cholesterol, and more. HB extract paired with healthy lifestyle choices like good nutrition and exercise can give you a life free of pain, sickness, and fear. Recapture your youthful vitality and experience your body healing itself with the aid of HB extract. It's extremely effective and it starts working in just days. Visit hbextract.com to learn more and to read scores of testimonials from satisfied customers. And we've never increased our price in over 10 years. That makes heart and body extract as great a value now as it was the first day we sold it. A healthy heart is a happy heart. Call 866-295-5305 or go to hbextract.com. On Free Talk Live, we're bringing people to the ideas of liberty every day. From wrestling superstars like Glenn Jacobs. You guys really are having an impact, I believe. Like I said, uh, a lot of where I am now is due to listening to Free Talk Live. You changed my mind on some very important issues years ago. To random people tuning in on the radio. I was kind of stuck in the left-right paradigm. I heard your show by chance on a Saturday night. From there, I went on, joined the Free State Project, and become an amplifier. So, I mean, that's really the reason why I amp is uh, because 
I know that if it wasn't for you guys being on the stations as you are, I never would have found the ideas of liberty. Your amp will directly change more lives by getting Free Talk Live in front of people looking for talk radio online and on the air. Find out about giving to our Google AdWords campaign at amp.freetalklive.com. That's amp.freetalklive.com. Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. Ross Ulbricht was arrested by the FBI in 2013 and charged with victimless crimes in relation to allegedly operating the Bitcoin-based Silk Road black market. He has been in a prison cell awaiting trial ever since. If he did it, he's a hero for making the black market a safer place. If he did not, he's a man wrongfully accused. Either way, if you love freedom and want to end the war on drugs, Ross and his family need your support. You can learn more and help fund his defense at freeross.org. That's freeross.org. Do you love Twitter? Make sure you favorite the LRN.FM Twitter account so you can receive our tweets at twitter.lrn.fm. That's twitter.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live. Take control toll-free. It's the live Saturday edition of the program. Maybe, you know, you don't really want to talk about secession, immigration, whatever happens to be on your mind. ISIS, we'll take anything here. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. But I do want to play this video uh, for, from ISIS, the most recent video. It's a little on the long side, but we've played all of these videos so far, and not all of them have been on Saturday night. This is the one that just came out. Uh, was released today. It is in their Lend Me Your Ears, as they are being called, series, where John Cantley, one of their prisoners from the UK, is narrating. He's reading a script, uh, you know, teleprompter, it appears, and uh, sitting at a desk. He's got an orange shirt on as though he is, you know, in his captor or captivity gear. And that has been the thrust of the majority of, or the, you know, sort of the visage of most of these videos. In one of them, they did dress him up like a news uh, journalist and put him out in the streets of uh, or the, the building tops of Kobane, which apparently is. And then they're going to kill him. Well, he's done. He's done quite a bit for them, yeah. But it appears that they do plan on killing him. At least that's what is supposedly revealed in this video. A bunch I of wicked people. I haven't screened it up front because again, it is. It's about nine minutes in length. Uh, but I would like to dissect it, would like to talk about it. That's what we've been doing here on Free Talk Live over the last few months as these videos have been released. And uh, so there's the two series of videos. One of them is the series of the beheadings, which if you've been paying attention to those, you know that the initial beheading videos did not show the, the gore of the beheadings. But the most recent one was very gory and did absolutely show and not only showed it, but dramatized it to music and slow motion. Uh, which was extra horrifying. Most of the beheadings were of... Uh, All of the beheadings Sy were of Syrian Syrians. airmen. Well, the first, it, it opens up with the beheading of the, nope. of the U.S. No, aid worker. No, it does worker. not. Nope. The, uh, the 15-minute video you're talking about, it opens up with a, a series of propaganda, um, seg a seg segment of propaganda. There's you know several minutes, a few minutes of propaganda. They then go to the beheading of the, or the beheadings of the about 18 Syrian airmen. And then at the very end of the video, it does have the the head of the the American that they were purportedly holding hostage, but right. it does not show his beheading. It okay. only shows not the, the beheading. beheading, the headless man. Yes, that's correct. They show the head of the uh, the final what was the bodiless man? How's the that? second to last hostage besides John Cantley that they have? They also ostensibly have a female hostage in captivity. So John Cantley continues with his series. So this is the other series, which is sort of more just all propaganda. It's just them, uh, you know, giving their side of things. You know, are they telling the truth? Well, maybe from their perspective, they are. Maybe they're lying. I don't know. But a lot of it's been very, very interesting. And it's hard to find this video. 
all of these videos have been very obscured. They're very difficult to come across. If you're just looking at mainstream media articles, all you'll see is video screen captures from the videos, but they won't actually give you. They'll give you summaries of the videos, but they won't actually give you the actual audio. We will do that here on Free Talk Live with episode six of ISIS's Lend Me Your Ears with John Cantley. Hello, I'm John Cantley, the British citizen abandoned by my government and a prisoner of the Islamic State for nearly two years now. In this program, I'll tell you about a failed raid to rescue us and how it feels to be left for dead by your own government. On July the 4th, Independence Day, the Americans did try to get us out of prison, not by negotiation or prisoner exchange, but by an incredibly complex, risky, and expensive rescue attempt that failed. The raid involved two dozen Delta Force commandos, several Black Hawk helicopters, gunships, Predator drones, F-18 Hornet jets, and refueling aircraft. Wow. It took weeks of yeah. rehearsals and must have cost tens of millions to perform. But we weren't there. The Islamic State, anticipating such a move, just put the six of us into cars and moved us to another prison days beforehand. Total cost to them was a few dollars in petrol. <laughs> We're not sure if we missed them by 12 minutes or 12 hours, said Hector Pocock, a special days. operations spokesman. Mm. Missions like this are very risky because if they go wrong, you don't know how it'll affect the hostages further up the road. You don't say. Meanwhile, James Foley's mother, Diane, was being threatened by the US National Security Council that she could face criminal charges if they paid a ransom. Right. Yep, that's so, important to focus on. Yeah, the United States government has uh, threatened the families of the hostages, uh, the U.S. hostages, and I guess they're all dead now, right? Um, and told them that if they pay the ransom that ISIS is asking for, basically they're materially supporting terrorism and they're going to jail for trying to get their loved one back. That's horrifying. They're going to prison. This would be fe likely federal prison, Fine, you, you, my guess. I don't think that the average listener really differentiates between jail and prison. Either way, it would not be uh, fun just because they wanted to save their son, and they're being prohibited from doing that. And they're not the only ones who've had a tough time dealing with the government. I saw an article in the paper today uh, here in King, New Hampshire, a national article. I don't know if it was AP or where it was from, but talking about the families and how disappointed they've been in their level of communication with the United States federal Federal government on these matters. We'll continue with the video here, but your calls are also welcome. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. John is in Ocean City, New Jersey. You're on Free Talk Live. Hey, John. John in Ocean City. Uh, ISIS is the Islamic uh, State of Iraq and Syria. What they did, they're Wahhabi Islamists that took advantage of governmental breakdown after Saddam Hussein was overthrown. And they say that the uh, Bashar Assad's been gassing his own people, which doesn't make a bit of sense when you consider that uh, the people that were targeted were moderate Muslims, Jews, and Christians, the people, the very people that he's been protecting. So there's a lot of propaganda going on. Actually, what I understand is those two particular countries, among uh, seven others, are resistant against having an Illuminati backing cartels control them and are resisting that, and that's why they've been targeted. Now, people don't know about the Illuminati. I am so lost on what he's saying. Illuminati cartels? There's what? a conspiracy theory out there that all the wars in the last several decades um, have been fought. All the fought. way back to the French Revolution. Now, here's, now let's think about this. Well, wait, wait, can, can, I, can you finish that thought before you go on, John? What is, Mark, the conspiracy? The wars have been fought? All wars, what? all the propaganda surrounding wars is just a bunch of lies. The wars have been fought because the leaders of those countries would not accept the central banking cartel um, that is Correct. essentially, you know, run out of London or New York City, you take your particular pick. Uh, well, New York City is actually subservient because the Federal Reserve is not even our government. Uh, the Fed controls 12 banks, which enter to the Fed in New York, but that enters to uh, the banking uh, houses of Lloyd's in London, uh, which is controlled by the Rothschild cartels. And uh, that's just factual. That's actual and factual. I think about this Just now, out of uh, curiosity, if these, uh, uh, you know, because, um, you know, it, it has this international Jew flavor to it. And I think it's worth pointing out. No, 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 wait a second. I, well, I just, I think it's worth talking about. Wait, 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 wait. I'm asking a question here. If uh, the Rothschilds ran the world, 
Why did the Holocaust occur? Why didn't um, the United States or Great Britain or many well, of the come, Western come, countries? I'm asking a question. You cannot answer the question until I have asked it. Why okay, did the sir, United States? Ahead. I didn't bring up anything about Jews. I, did, I said nothing about Jews. But go ahead, sir. Okay, you'd I think that the Rothschilds. You'd think that the Rothschilds who are Jewish, would care about Jews, right? Like there's a lot of evidence that Jews tend to kind of stick together. You'd think that if they ran the world, which I do not believe they do, um, okay. that they would uh, they would say, hey, Franklin Delano Roosevelt, you anti-Semite. Anybody check, anybody check the, the history on this, you'll see it's true. Why don't you, anti-Semite, let that uh, ship full of the damned because we run right. the United States? Okay. You see, you're going off to uh, Franklin Delano Roosevelt. It's who, I didn't even bring up Franklin Delano Roosevelt. Yeah, but here's, you said that every you. war since oh, no, no, the French Revolution. You, sir. Okay, here's a question for you, sir. How come you the didn't answer mine? Had... It's not a Jewish conspiracy. I never said it was a Jewish conspiracy, right. sir. The whole thing is, is that there are Rothschilds hanging out in neutral Switzerland. Why couldn't the Germans go right in and to, to Switzerland couldn't have stopped the Germans right. from going in and taking the Rothschilds? So the Rothschilds are in Switzerland. In Switzerland. Do they run the world? The war, sir. Do they the run the world? The Rothschilds financed finance the Nazi war machine. Can, you can't answer that question. What's that how about come, the Nazi war machine? Jewish, how come the Jewish Rothschilds financed the Nazi war machine? I can't prove that you that is the case. That question because they don't care about regular people. They're not really Jews because they're Luciferian. And the whole thing is, is that all right, Soviet communism. What, what are the two features of communists? Uh, communists are very uh, worldly and educated, the founders of communism, uh, as well as they're atheists. Why do they celebrate May Day? Was the Luciferian High Day? Not because I said it. They would, they May Day is a workers' Luc holiday. What are you talking about? No, it's not. The, the October Revolution has nothing to do with May Day. May Day is an atheist. It's not an atheist day. It's, it's celebrated by Luciferian. Why does the Illuminati get it's, such bad press? I mean, aren't they just the Illuminated ones? The Illuminated ones, because they 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 found it, when Christianity was was brought to Europe, those societies, the Druids, the Baphometists, the uh, Kabbalists, and so forth, they would not give up uh, their old religion, and that is the oldest religion anyway. Witchcraft is the oldest religion. It's older. Yeah, but the Illuminati is not witches. Uh, thanks for the call tonight, John. I appreciate All hearing right, from I'm you. Now, wait. I mean, look, the Illuminati. If you look at what the Illuminati is supposed to stand for, they don't sound so bad after all. Like, is it possible that there's some people in the Illuminati who are bad guys and there's other people who are If you don't good like guys? the Illuminati, get on the inside and change it from there. <laughs> 855 450 free. You take control here. Free Talk Live. More coming up. Ross Ulbricht was arrested by the FBI in 2013 and charged with victimless crimes in relation to allegedly operating the Bitcoin based Silk Road black market. He has been in a prison cell awaiting trial ever since. If he did it, he's a hero for making the black market a safer place. If he did not, he's a man wrongfully accused. Either way, if you love freedom and want to end the war on drugs, Ross and his family need your support. You can learn more and help fund his defense at FreeRoss.org. That's FreeRoss.org. DVD, books, music, instruments, periodicals, computers, software, electronics, photo, cell phone, office products, home and garden, bed and bath, furniture, kitchen, pet supplies, automotive, hardware, apparel, shoes, jewelry, grocery, healthcare, sports and outdoors, toys, games, used and more. It's a department store at your fingertips. Shop.freetalklive.com. Get all your shopping done, get a great deal, and a portion of your purchase goes to benefit Free Talk Live when you enter Amazon via shop.freetalklive.com. I love my magic mud. I drink a lot of coffee. I had stains on my teeth. Then I found my magic mud, and I was told it would remove stains. So I paid attention when I brushed the first time. My magic mud is black tooth powder, and the difference it made in my teeth in one application was noticeable. With four, my teeth were as white as you normal folks out there. Please go to mymagicmud.com and buy a jar. There's 150 applications for 25 bucks. You can use Bitcoin, mymagicmud.com. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number two is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. 
This is the Liberty Beat, your daily source for Liberty news and activist updates, online at thelibertybeat.com. I'm Brian Hagan with your Liberty Beat for Friday, November 21st, 2014. Gold closed yesterday at $1,193, up $14. Silver closed at $16.23, up $0.17. And Bitcoin is trading around $353. Today's precious metal prices brought to you by Midas Resources Incorporated. Helping clients convert their paper 401ks and IRAs to solid gold and silver. Get their 10 Reasons book free by calling 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. The Liberty Beat is brought to you by eFoods Direct, redefining the way you think about storable food. eFoods Direct is offering 10% off to all Liberty Beat listeners. Just go to eFoodsDirect.com slash Liberty Beat or call 800-620-5520 and mention Liberty Beat for your savings today. In the news, a common sense middle ground approach. That's what President Barack Obama called his plan regarding immigration reform as unveiled during a speech Thursday night. I continue to believe that the best way to solve this problem is by working together to pass that kind of common sense law. But until that happens, there are actions I have the legal authority to take as president that will help make our immigration system more fair and more just. The executive order means those undocumented immigrants who have lived in the United States for five years or more, who are the parents of either American citizens or lawful residents, will not be deported. Before that would happen, they would have to undergo criminal and national security background checks. Their status would be reviewed every three years. A Wednesday night, early Thursday morning protest at police headquarters in Ferguson, Missouri, led to several arrests. The St. Louis Post-Dispatch says the arrests stem from a peaceful but noisy rally that led to the short-term closure of a local roadway. Police have not publicly stated why the arrests were made. The protest comes as the grand jury decision regarding the death of unarmed 18-year-old Michael Brown by the gun of police officer Darren Wilson is awaited. Protesters with the Occupy Central movement have been occupying major roads in Hong Kong for eight weeks now, despite an apparent drop in support. Founders of Occupy Central have also proposed that the student protesters find other forms of protest, citing backlash from the community as the reason for change. The Liberty Beat, sponsored by Central Texas Gunworks, your online source for firearms, firearm accessories, and ammunition. They take major credit cards and now accept Bitcoin. Visit them online, shop.centraltexasgunworks.com. Did you know you can support the Liberty Beat when shopping on Amazon.com? Just log into your account after clicking our Amazon affiliate link at libertybeat.com slash Amazon. This is the Liberty Beat for Friday, November 21st, 2014. Check out the website at thelibertybeat.com and like us on Facebook at facebook.com slash thelibertybeat. The United States has released five prisoners from Guantanamo as part of the effort to close the detention center on the Navy base in Cuba. According to the Associated Press, officials say three men were sent to Georgia and two to Slovakia. The release announced by the Pentagon on Thursday brings the prisoner population at Guantanamo to 143. The documentary 101 Reasons, Liberty Lives in New Hampshire, was released this week for free on YouTube. The film explores 101 reasons to move to New Hampshire as part of the Free State Project, an idea officially launched in 2003 to make the state the home for liberty-loving activists around the nation. The film includes personal stories from FSP participants and analyzes the historical relevance of the movement. The Committee to Protect Journalists has released a set of tips to protect journalists from eavesdroppers who might pry in their communications. The CPJ made several recommendations, including only surfing websites with the upgraded web protocol HTTPS. The S stands for secure. This applies encryption to your whole connection and keeps you private. They also recommend email encryption software such as PGP. Text messages and phone calls can be encrypted with TextSecure and RedPhone for Android or Signal for iOS. Today's edition of the Liberty Beat, made possible by My Magic Mud. Detoxifying tooth powder, the most effective and affordable dental care around. Get a 150 application jar at MyMagicMud.com. Want to reach tens of thousands of like-minded listeners every day with your messenger product? The Liberty Beat is looking for sponsors for their daily news service. Support this grassroots media project while expanding your reach to a targeted market. To inquire further, visit thelibertybeat.com slash advertise. This is The Liberty Beat for Friday, November 21st, 2014. I'm Brian Hagan reporting. Reminding you, spread liberty with a smile. Hi. 
I'm Clint Webb, and I'm running for Senate. I have a short cropped haircut, a pretty enough yet accessible looking wife, and a newborn baby that I've dressed in a suit to prove to you that I mean business. For the last 15 years, I've lived my life in such a bland, uncontroversial, and repressed manner that it's almost unnatural. Why? Because I've been preparing to be your representative since I was a child. Most well-adjusted sane men would be hesitant to take a job where their decisions would so drastically affect the lives of so many. But not me. I possess a sort of sociopathic narcissism that makes me think that I should be in charge of everyone. But all of that needs to start here at home, in this beautiful state that I've grown to love since I moved here 18 months ago. Together, we can piggyback some of our state's legitimate needs onto my unquenchable lust for self-glorification. And that's a promise. It's Free Talk Live. We are doing the live Saturday edition of the program. In the last hour, we started a video from ISIS or allegedly from ISIS, featuring John Cantley, one of their prisoners, and it may be his last video, as he apparently predicts later in the video that uh, he will be beheaded at some point. But we'll uh, share more of that with you as we get the chance going to your calls first here in this hour. They are all over the board. Our toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. You can bring up anything. We've talked about everything from uh, secession to Nichols uh, to the, of course, ISIS situation. And then somebody called about the Illuminati a moment ago. We go to your phones. And it's always about the Illuminati, my friend. Phone calls and thoughts. Dan is listening in Wisconsin to the Mike 92.1 out of Madison. Hello, Dan. Dan. Yeah, it's funny that um, I, I like to talk to my conservative uh, friends and stuff. They uh, talk all this stuff about ISIS and stuff. You know, to understand anything that goes over there, you can't, don't even try to understand anything unless you know what the CIA is doing. If you don't know what the CIA is doing, you don't have a clue. And How would anyone know what the, the CIA ISIS is doing? Goes, I don't think they, they know what they, they themselves are doing half the time. I mean, you just have to you have to look around the edges on what the CIA has done in the past and see sure. their uh, mode of apparatus. You know, see how they've operated. But well, uh, that's why I've been saying uh, yeah, alleged funny. ISIS videos because I don't know what ISIS actually is. I don't know if it's a CIA group or what the hell's really going on in the world. I don't claim to know that. Um, but uh, please go ahead with your comments. Yeah, and then they're, they're you know. You know, when, when they're going after uh, Al-Qaeda and stuff, so-called Al-Qaeda, you know, if we, we got to shut down their money. I mean, do we? how come there's no talk about where is this money coming from? I mean, last time I checked, it was hard to eat over there and get things done. All of a sudden, these people have time to lollygag around, go out shooting and blowing up things and this and that. That's something. Well, we know that some of the, the, the alleged the, people all the time. The, the allegations, to answer your question about where some of the money's coming from, uh, the allegations are that some of the hostages have been exchanged for, for money. Uh, that's a possibility that they could be making money that way. Um, as far as other things, they're certainly gathering weapons and food from various different places, including apparently the United States dropping them ac accidentally or something, packages full of food and weapons. So uh, they're fairly yeah, resourceful, but, it's, it appears. Yeah, but Or the CIA is funding them. But, but, yeah. <laughs> well, I don't know if the CIA is funding the them. They're CIA. certainly getting the stuff. Just, yeah, I mean, Saudi or this. Why did these people remind me of Saudi Arabia, where they behead people all the time, uh, uh, take gravel trucks and uh, dump it on women that haven't behaved and stuff like that? I mean, this is right up Saudi Arabia's uh, alley, and everyone's like, and here's these people in Congress, our friends, the Saudis. How come their embassy is so massively huge in, in, in New York? What the hell is that all about? I imagine they have lots of money. Dan, thanks for your call tonight. Appreciate it. Toll-free numbers 855-450-FREE. Chris, in Cleveland, Ohio, you're on Free Talk Live with Ian and Mark. Chris, you're on the air. Good day. Hey, I, <clears throat> Ian and Mark, I have a great idea. Yes, sir. To solve uh, the Ferguson problem. Lay it on, In right. the future, not right now. What if there, there were cameras on the guns themselves so that they were fa facing whatever the... Um, when they were taken out of the holster, whatever they faced, they would be recording audio too, and then you would know what happened, and you wouldn't have to necessarily release it unless they wanted to show how justified they were. And 
Well, the problem with the problem with letting the the department decide when um, audio and video are going to be released is is many times they don't think it's a good idea to release it. Mm -hmm. Um, Police departments, uh, you know, any organization understands in this litigious society that giving evidence up to the press is a bad idea, especially if you're in a contentious situation like police officers are. That's why I claim that whatever the cameras are that are on police officers really need to be streamed live to the Internet. This is technology people have had on their cell phones for well, it's going years. on, going on a decade now. Um, sir, that's that's pushing it, but it's getting yeah, it's, it's getting there. It's it's more than a half a decade yep. um, that they've yep. had technology where you can live stream from your phone. I'm not recording on your phone where somebody can go and erase it. Where it live streams to the internet. Now, certainly there are places in the United States where there isn't cell phone tech, um, cell phone connectivity, but there aren't many places like that. So, and this would prevent police departments and police officers from tampering with the evidence. I'd, it I'd needs like to, to be available directly to the idea. Of putting it on the gun uh the reason why that really probably wouldn't be such a good idea at least my initial response to it obviously i'm sure you could talk to a manufacturer like taser or whoever it is that's doing these cameras because i think taser is doing one of the police camera systems and you know ask them why this would or wouldn't work i don't think it would work because the equipment you know has to have a battery pack it's not exactly going to be something that's going to be easily mountable to a gun it's going to make it more difficult if you've got this camera you're gonna have some sort of custom case to you know to hold the gun with and then you know how does the camera activate in the heat of action that camera is obviously not going to be recording while it's pointed in the case yeah that's gonna be a lot of boring video so you know if you pull the gun how does that activate the camera quickly enough to make sure that you capture everything and you know if you've got the camera mounted to the police officer either on their head or on their uh, their chest 99 percent of the time it's going to be facing the same direction as the gun is pointing so i don't i don't think that adding a camera to the gun is going to necessarily improve matters i was thinking it would be an improvement because it would only it would it wouldn't be catching everybody and their brother as they're walking down the street or and it would be when they thought they had a reason enough to point a gun at somebody. Yeah, but you they, need to know what happens be before that. Them. You you need to know. I mean, when a cop pulls a gun out, that's usually happening after X, Y, and Z has already occurred to amp things up to yeah. whatever that level was. So you have to have the context to be able to know if the police even, you know, if the officer pulling his gun was even justified in the first place. Thanks, Chris, for the call tonight. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. I'm not trying to minimize, you know, the actions that happen after the cop goes for the gun. Obviously, that's a very important part of that scene. But in order to understand it, you have to have the context and, you know, why did that happen? If you are recording everyone as they walk by, you know, that cop could claim that some guy just jumped out and attacked him and he had to pull his gun out. And, you know, you wouldn't know if you didn't get to see the you know, what preceded context. Toll-free numbers, 855-450-FREE. We've got Carl in Atlantic City listening to WPG. Hello, Carl. Hello. I just want to remind everybody, I didn't hear it today on the news or, or anything. 51 years ago, President John F. Kennedy was killed in Dallas, Texas. I have not heard one word about it today. Hmm. Yeah, it's just another dead politician. I mean, what's the big deal? Oh, God. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> oh, yeah, you got that right. It's interesting hey, that um, we don't, yeah. you know, note the death of Abraham Lincoln, John McKinley. Right. Um, I mean, JFK, I guess it's because people are still alive. Um, I'm trying to think that's of uh, other politicians yeah, that have been, ha- ha- presidents that have been assassinated, but McKinley is the only one that's coming to mind. I thought there were four. Wow. I mean, if we're going to remember well, somebody, let's Garfield? remember let's remember Jimi Hendrix or Elvis or, you know, somebody, one of the okay. Beatles that's dead. I mean, these are people who have actually brought good things to the world. Uh, politicians, they're just scumbags and uh, crooks and criminals. So why bother mourning any well, of we, them? we got plenty of them in New Jersey. In fact, we no got doubt. a bunch of them meeting. They want to raise the uh, gas tax by uh, 25 cents because... We're second lowest in the nation. Of course, we're the highest in every other tax. Wow. New Jersey's the second right. lowest gas tax? I never would have guessed. Yeah, well, they want to make us, they want to move us way up because they say the transportation fund is broke. Of course, they borrowed from it for other stuff and, <laughs> and don't have the money, and they, they only want 25 cents a gallon more. And oh, this my time God. They yeah, what would twenty five cents a gallon? Hold on. What would twenty five cents a gallon more 
uh, put you guys in like what you know what range of tax? What's the number? What what number will your state be at that point on the the range of uh, most know, tax states? I didn't, I didn't look. I didn't look it up. But what's a honest, gallon of gas cost that. in New Jersey right now? What if you were to go down the street and grab right a gallon now, of gas? Regular uh, two sixty one. Whoa, that's wow. cheap. What yeah. are they? What's it right now in uh, in Keene, New Hampshire? Mark above three still. Uh, last I saw was two ninety nine. Okay, so just below three here. There you go. Hey, Carl, okay, thanks for the well, call tonight, man. I appreciate okay. it. Toll free numbers eight fifty five four fifty three. Scott is listening in Charleston, South Carolina. Hello, Scott. Scott in Charleston, you're on the air. Tell you what, Scott, hang on. We'll bring you back here in a moment. Maybe he's <laughs> in a bad cell or not paying attention. It was Gar- Garfield was assassinated, so it was, it was four presidents. All right, toll-free numbers 855-450-FREE. Plenty of time for you and your thoughts. More on ISIS on the way. Your calls about anything. Also, welcome here on Free Talk Live, 855-450-FREE. Have you thought about owning gold? There are lots of reasons to own precious metals. A hedge against inflation. When the dollar tanks, metals go up. A barter currency. You can disempower the Fed by using real money. And no one knows the future. In an economic collapse, metals are likely to be a currency. Do as I've done for years. Buy your gold and silver and precious metals from Midas Resources through gold.freetalklive.com. That's gold.freetalklive.com. Khalid lives in Gaza. He makes his living as a taxi driver. The engine in his old beater blew up. Now, he makes good money driving people in his cab, but he couldn't afford the $1,300 for a new engine. Free Talk Live helped him get a loan for the engine, and he's back on the road. You can help us help more people by getting your coffee through coffee.freetalklive.com. Make a difference. One cup at a time. Get a free pound to try out the subscription. Cancel any time. Coffee.freetalklive.com. Gold. It's like nothing else on Earth. From the Romans through the Renaissance, from the Industrial Age to the Space Age, gold has weathered the test of time. For 6,000 years, gold has remained the ultimate store of wealth. According to the World Gold Council and the U.S. Mint, demand is at an all-time high. The stage is being set for the re-emergence of gold as the common-sense alternative to a fiat paper currency that gets weaker every day. Midas Resources is proud to offer the hard-hitting report that arms you with the truth you need to protect you and your family from the Fed's plans for your hard-earned money. Don't gamble with your future. Call Midas Resources today and ask for your free copy of As Good As Gold. Call 1-800-686-2237 for the report the Fed hopes you'll never see. As Good As Gold can be yours by calling 800-686-2237. If you have ever thought about owning gold, you must read this report. Call Midas today at 800-686-2237. So the protection of life, liberty, and property is, is what the Free State Project is all about. But it's an, it's an effort to move 20,000 people who understand. It's about demonstrating to the entire country. That, yeah, we can have a free market, a truly free market. Making it just a free, a great place to live. It's the world's largest voluntarist libertarian community, and it's, it's only getting bigger. That's amazing, to be able to move to a place where other people like passionately believe in being free and independent. What the Free State Project is managing to do, though, is to put their money where their mouth is. Physically getting up across the country and saying, let's go someplace and let's demonstrate the power of these ideas. There's a lot of kind of philosophy that surrounds liberty. There's a lot of thinking about it and talking about it. But here in New Hampshire, people are doing it. 101 Reasons Liberty Lives in New Hampshire, a documentary by Free State Project Early Movers. Watch it free at 101reasonsfilm.com. 101reasonsfilm.com. If you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com. You can get emailed announcements and participate in contests via our email updates list. Plus, we have a Twitter account that you can follow and a Facebook page where you can become a fan. So visit news.freetalklive.com to get news about Free Talk Live as soon as it's announced and the way you want it delivered at news.freetalklive.com. That's news.freetalklive.com. Do you drink coffee? Was the last cup of coffee you had really good? Free Talk Live has teamed up with BuzzBox to bring you the best of the best coffee. Shade grown, organic, top 1% grade Arabica. But what's different is for every 10 people that get their coffee through coffee.freetalklive.com, we can give another micro loan through Kiva. Get a free pound to try it out. A free pound of the best of the best coffee. 
Help others one cup at a time. Coffee.freetalklive.com. Listen to LRN.FM on any phone, anytime. 213-493-0309. That's 213-493-0309. This is Free Talk Live. It is the live Saturday edition of the program. That just means we're here on a weekend, as we always are. Shows the same format. You call in about anything that's on your mind. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. We'll get back into the ISIS video when we get a moment, or rather the alleged ISIS video with host John Cantley, one of their ostensible hostages. Uh, we'll continue that. And if you care about your online privacy, you need to know about Pro XPN. Just downloaded it today uh, for my laptop. I had actually tried to download it previously on a restricted network, and they had blocked Pro XPN's website. <laughs> it was the court. I was in the, the courts uh, quite a bit this week. Anyway, Pro XPN gets you around those regional blocks. It can get you around the blocks at the you know the school or the workplace because it's a virtual private network and private meaning encrypted. So whoever it is that might be looking at your communications, they won't know what you're doing. Maybe it's your internet service provider logging all the websites that you visit, the search terms you enter. Maybe it's the uh, the web, you know, maybe your provider at work. Maybe they're logging the sites that you visit. Uh, the court system that here in New Hampshire, they, they blocks all kinds of stuff, and they certainly are logging uh, what you're doing. So you can encrypt your connection very simply. You just go and download the software from ProXPN. It's free for Windows, Macintosh, iOS devices, Android devices. You can even get it rolling with Linux. It's just a little bit of a different setup there. Go to ProXPN.com slash FTL. Get the software, get it installed, connect it, and you're encrypted. So in addition to that, by the way, you go and go to ProXPN.com slash uh, slash FTL, and you can get started for free but in addition, you're going to want to upgrade to the premium account because you're going to want the unlimited bandwidth feature that the premium account has, servers that are available around the world, and you can privately torrent, plus get past those regional blocks, as I was talking about before. You get it all with a risk-free seven-day money-back guarantee, and ProXPN does not keep records of your online surfing habits. So get started today at ProXPN.com FTL, and then use promo code FTL50 when you're ready to upgrade to premium to get 50% off the price of their annual account. Now, that locks in the price for the duration of your account so you can have it for the life your lifetime and it'll still be that same 50 percent off it's uh, quite a deal ftl50 is the code ftlbtc is another code you can use to save even more 62 percent off when you pay with bitcoin for that annual account at proxpn.com slash ftl codes are ftl50 and ftlbtc get a great discount on privacy that is priceless as we go to your calls and thoughts we're going to try scott in charleston uh, one more time scott are you with us yes i am All right, sir. go ahead sir you're on the air all right, uh, I'll tell you something. Uh, have you ever heard the term bomber hurry? Spell that for me. Bomber hurry. Bomber, bomber hurry. I, I got bomber. What's the last word? Harris. Bomber Harris? Harris. Yeah, I don't know. H-A-R-R-I-S. Okay, he was the I have head not. Of, he was the head of the uh, British Air Command. Uh, and then the, what they try to do is they try to do precision bombing. He said, "The hell with that. Let's kill the let's kill the the German worker." That's exactly what the British try to do. Uh, that's exactly what they try to do, and that's what we try to do. After we killed all the damn uh, all the Germans and every place else. Which uh, war war are we he, talking about here? I think you're talking about World War Two. World War uh, it's World War Two, sir. Uh, uh, are you not aware of that? We did fight a war uh, seventy something years ago. Yeah, there was uh, World War One. If you'll recall, about ninety, uh, ninety, a hundred years ago, it just started. So, um, the I don't know who we is. We weren't alive at the time either of the times. Well, I don't want you to talk about World War One for. I don't, I think we do, did not need uh, need to be in that war whatsoever. I am with you completely. Oh, no. The United States definitely didn't need to be in World War One, and had it not gone into World War One, there probably wouldn't have been a World War Two. But what was the point of your call? Uh, you were no, talking I about do bombings. Not, I do not think uh, there would there would have been a World War Two. We did not. We uh, did not have to go in there. We were a minor part of that. We suffered one hundred thousand killed. The uh, what was the, the other, what was the thrust uh, of your call there? though? What was the point that you were bringing up about these bombings? I'm, you never really got. The bombing is simply this. We must kill 
our enemies. Who are your enemies? We killed them dead. <laughs> Who are your enemies, sir? Oh, they're the uh, the uh, the uh, Islamic uh, forces. So, wait, Islamic forces, does that mean ISIS? ISIS? Like, pardon? ISIS? Who do you consider to be the Islamic forces? Can you be more specific? Uh, uh, Islam, uh, ISIS and anybody who could be one. And, uh, anybody who could be them, with... Uh, sir, uh, I'm not through yet. Anybody who comes across that border... Which border? Shot dead. Which border are we referring to? The southern border. What so about you the northern sh- border? You There's sh- people. I, I live right here by the Canadian border. There's people coming across it all the time. You want to shoot them too? Uh, are they white? Oh God, get him out of here! Are you serious? <laughs> did you really just say that? I did, sir. Are you saying you would only shoot brown people that and, were coming across and the border? And Germans. He's, he doesn't mind killing uh, the white people or Germans. They would. They would. They would be my primary target. Yes. What is wrong with you? I am an irrationalist. You are an irrationalist. <laughs> I will give that to you. There's, uh, that is certainly true. But why would you be so? I mean, were you were you raised to be a bigot by your your daddy? Uh, Did daddy teach you to uh, hate you brown white, people? Uh, you you sound like a white man. The hell does that have to do with are anything? I don't have a color. Well, what is, I don't I don't understand how you got such a. a a ridiculous view of this. The country. ridiculous view. My view is that people are human uh, beings. No, there, Excuse me, how Scott. Many, how many? How many? How many countries in this world are non-white that are, uh, are uh, the best there is? Um, uh, Singapore, Hong Kong, Japan. I mean, Singapore, I don't know what the best there is. Singapore. They whip you with a cane for uh, for any uh, matter crime. It You're saying like, you want to shoot someone for crossing an imaginary line in the sand. Uh, if you're crossing my line, it isn't your line, line I, buddy. If it's look, you are, oh well. What is look, really Scott? Is, but, uh, what is it? How did you get this way? I mean, how did you become so hateful towards people who are a different skin color of yours? Was it your grandpappy? I don't. I, you know something? I don't, I don't hate them nearly as much as I hate you. Oh, <laughs> that's sweet. Thanks for the call. 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. I couldn't be more proud to be despised by somebody who is so despicable. I don't even know what to say. Well, you know, I think that... You know, I, I appreciate the honesty at the very least. I appreciate that this guy, he's not couching his hatred. He's not couching his racism, his just blatant racism in any kind of, you know, hidden way. He's not making excuses about, oh, well, I support immigration, but it should be legal. No, no, he's just coming right out and saying, blow up brown people if they're crossing the border. And that's just a sick, I wonder why he sick thinks, thing to do. Uh, why he thinks Germans are so bad in World War II if I mean, I'm just assuming if you're a bigot, you're a full-on bigot, right? The Jews too. Mm. I mean, shouldn't mm-hmm. you be on Germany's side in that circumstance? Well, you are assuming, Mark, and you know what happens when you assume. I, I pfft, you make I, an I ass out of you and me. I couldn't be more of an ass than that guy. More uh, coming up here in moments. We've got plenty of time for you. You can just dial in toll-free here, eight fifty-five four fifty-free. And how did we get this way? Well, because you know, at some point in my life, I came to the uh, understanding that. We're all just people. We're all human beings. Because and I took science class, and I know the thing that separates me from somebody darker than me is melanin in my skin. <laughs> it's a, you know, I mean, big deal. Yeah, we're all just human beings. We all want mostly the same things. Uh, we, you know, want to survive and be loved, and that's really, you know, there's no real differences between us. They're all superficial. 855 450 free. It's Free Talk Live. Hi, I'm Sam Nussbaum, Well Point's Chief Medical Officer. We proudly support the March of Dimes mission to improve the health of babies and fight premature birth. We're helping the March of Dimes fund breakthroughs in research and community programs that help more moms have full-term pregnancies and healthy babies. Join us in working together to provide children with a healthier start in life. Visit marchofdimes.org. 
We love that you're passionate about GCN. And whether you're a listener, a business owner, or a radio industry professional, we've redesigned the new GCN newsletter to keep you in the know. Get updates on your favorite GCN shows and hosts. Go to GCNlive.com and click on the banner in the upper left corner. Just for signing up, you're automatically entered for monthly giveaways. Start receiving your newsletter today. The future of talk radio. GCN. This is the Onion Week in Review. A month after the death of leader Kim Jong-il, North Korea's 24.5 million citizens have returned to their regular daily routines this week, holding a festive synchronized disco jump rope gala in Pyongyang's main public square. Life in the hermetic communist nation is reportedly beginning to normalize following the protracted mourning period, with citizens once again donning their brightly colored uniforms and performing intricate gymnastics routines in perfect unison. It is an inspiring sight to see so many loyal citizens find the strength to unfurl their long silken streamers and do dozens of tandem backflips set to dance music. Observers reported that new North Korean leader Kim Jong-un nodded once in approval of the disco jump rope gala, signaling an official transfer of power. A recent study from the Centers for Disease Control finds that over 100 million children are being exposed to harmful levels of stupidity in their own homes. Hear the debate about secondhand ignorance on the next In the Know. This is the Onion News Network. Did you know that Free Aid is a mutual aid, educational, and networking organization? At Free Aid, we support volunteers who provide first aid. We do outreach to the public about health and safety, and we bring together medically skilled freedom lovers. Free Aid is made possible by your generous support. Donors can receive great gifts like first aid kits, t shirts, silver dime cards, and hoodies. The Free Aid Silver Dime Card Project is sponsored in part by Roberts and Roberts Brokerage, Freedoms Phoenix, and Don't Tread on Meme. Visit fr33aid.com. Here's a chance to do a little activism while you're cruising Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Between the LOL cats, the recipes, the hot girls, and the inspirational sunrise memes, Free Talk Live's posts pass by your newsfeed. Like them. Comment. It gives us more exposure. If you don't see our posts, click like at facebook.freetalklive.com and then hover over it to click Get Notifications. It's an easy way to spread the ideas of liberty a bit further. I know you're busy, but you can spare that tenth of a calorie it takes to click on something. Facebook.freetalklive.com. What if the key to achieving liberty in your lifetime was to move together with others who think like you? Liberty activists are joining the Free State Project, which is over 70% of the way to its goal of 20,000 participants. And they're already making the move to New Hampshire. The successes are piling up and are proving the Free State Project is a real movement and no longer just a great idea. When you're planning your move, consider Keen. Keen is famous for its civil disobedience and non-cooperation, and there's plenty of political opportunity as well. From demonstrations and vigils to outreach and volunteering, there's a lot going on in Keen. Keen is the liberty media capital of the world, with television, talk radio, and more all originating here. Though it's more than just activism, with regular social events each week. See what's happening at freekeen.com and get connected with video, audio, free books, a forum, and activist tools you can download and use in your area at freekeen.com. That's freekeen.com. You can interact with other LRN listeners in our message board at forum.lrn.fm. That's forum.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. You bring up whatever you want. Even if you are a despicable racist, you are free to call in and talk about that. So you can take control of the airwaves. That is the point here on Free Talk Live. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Join us on our website and get interactive for free at freetalklive.com. I love the antiwar.com website. I feel like I can get news articles there um, and facts that I'm not getting in other news sources, even foreign news sources. I feel like antiwar.com puts a spin on it that I just can't get elsewhere, and I find them valuable for that reason. So if you have been to antiwar.com and use antiwar.com, so if, if you haven't, go. Check it out. Uh, but if you have, uh, join me in sending them a little money. Uh, the fact is they're down to a skeleton crew with minimal pay. They're committed to keeping the website up with the best of the worst of all the bad news, but they can't do it for free, and they can't do it without you. 
They need your donation. Please go to antiwar.com and donate or call them today. There is no site like antiwar.com. They proudly and gladly take Bitcoin for you uh, Bitcoin millionaires out there. Antiwar.com slash donate because war is the health of the state. Antiwar.com. All right, let's continue. Will's in Mississippi. You're on Free Talk Live with Ian and Mark on the live Saturday edition of Free Talk Live. Hey, Will. What's up, man? Hey, where are you calling from in Mississippi, by the way? Cooperville, Mississippi. Excellent. You're listening to WKMQ then. Go ahead with your thoughts. My thoughts is, what I don't understand is, I mean, we print our own money. So why, I mean, they, they, help me understand when they say, like, American is in debt. Okay, like we like to say we owe China some money or whoever we in debt with. Why, why, why the hell we just don't do it? Just, I mean... Damn, is it a trillion people in in America? No, there are not a trillion 300 people in America. Three hundred million people, uh, about three hundred okay. million people in in America. Okay. And and by the way, just to correct okay, before yes, you go, yes. before you go on, well, before you, you know, just to correct you, we don't owe China anything because you and I didn't okay. get into a contract with China. That's what the politicians okay. say, and the politicians would love to point uh, to pass their debts off on you. Because they believe they own us. Yeah. Right. So basically, so basically, so basically, you're really saying that. We ain't in debt. It's just the way they doing shit in that White oh, House. Oh, you can't say that. I'm sorry. It's a talk radio program, and we're on talk radio stations. I, what do you think he was getting at there, Mark? Um, he is questioning the debt, um, and I question the debt all I the time. I also question the debt. Yeah. Isn't that a, like a felony or something like that? What is that? Are to question quite, the debt? Yeah, isn't there some sort of crime? To oh, question? I don't know that there's a crime. There could quite possibly be a crime. Please come get me. Um, I would love to be the first talk show host in America for uh, repudiating the U.S. debt to get arrested. I'm begging you. I don't know if it's U.S. Marshals or uh, Department of Homeland Security or the FBI. Please come get me because I don't believe I owe your stinking debt. You and your masters in Washington, D.C., those people that steal my money in order to pay your paychecks, those people, they owe money, not me, not my six-year-old son. I look at my six-year-old son playing with his his blocks, having a good old time down there, and every once in a while I think, you know, there's some, some stinking jobless uh, politician in Washington, D.C. When I say job, I mean they don't actually produce anything of value. There's yeah. some stinking parasite in Washington, D.C. that believes that my son, who's six years old, owes a portion of his debt. He's willing to kick the can down the road so the future generations are going to have to pay debts. Consider for a second the U.S. has never not had a debt. The lowest the debt has been is under uh, Andrew Jackson, and that was the early 1800s. You're still paying interest on debts from wars you don't know anything about. The War of 1812, you're still paying interest on that debt. Because those people in Washington, D.C. have never been responsible with their money. Toll-free number, 855-450-FREE. Still to come, we've got more. We've only, we're only two minutes into this John Cantley video. Uh, for those of you just tuning in, we have uh, John Cantley, the, what may be his final video. I certainly hope it's not. But he apparently predicts his own demise in this video. We haven't gotten to that part of it yet. He's the guy who ISIS has alleged, ISIS, the alleged ISIS group has been using to represent them in a series of propaganda videos. We're going to continue that. Uh, but first, Dana in Keene, New Hampshire. That's where we're broadcasting from. Tune to WKBK. Hello, Dana. Hey, how are you? What's on your mind tonight? Go Dana ahead. From Keene. Of course, you guys are here too, right? Yes, sir. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, that that. Uh, Caller there from uh, the racist guy there. I think he had a few too many to drink there. Oh, he was be he was just being honest. I mean, that's that's how who he really is. <laughs> you got to give him credit for that, I guess, right? <laughs> well, if he deserves credit, I guess it's for anything. Like I said, you know, he's not couching his yeah. racism in any other terms. He's just coming right out with it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But uh, other than that, I um, the debt here. You know, like you said previously here that. The only president ever to totally eradicate the debt or almost eradicate it was Andrew Jackson. Yeah, it was $40,000. Really? Uh, that last I, yeah. as I recall. Wow. Yeah, you're right, exactly. Just about, um, he gets a lot of bad press, but in a way he was, fiscally, he was he was the Ron Paul of his day. He certainly was. You know, uh, the problem? That, that whole, uh, oh, the only good Indian is a dead Indian thing, it really bothers me, though. <laughs> No, I know, I know that he, he, exactly. He wasn't a perfect guy yet, <laughs> by no there. means. But he was tough yeah, as nails. He was tough as nails, and he believe it or not, he survived over a hundred duels, a hundred and four duels. Really, was it over a hundred? Uh, I knew that he was quite wow. a duelsman. 
He was. He's an amazing shot. And I mean, think about that a hundred times, and he came out on top every single yeah. time. There's a reason that uh, his okay. men would follow him into battle. Was that prior to becoming a president? The 104? Did yes, he fight was. any duels during his presidency? I know he smacked a guy around who tried to shoot him during his presidency. He, had, he took his cane and like m- smacked him around the head a few times and took the gun away from the guy. Did, yes, he did do that. He was a tough guy. And he also, when um, when Britain invaded there, tried to in New Orleans, he went down there with uh, with his soldiers and the pirate there, Lafitte, um, uh, helped him. And they, they killed over 2,000 British soldiers and he didn't lose one of his troops. They were wow. dug in real well. Uh-huh. They were dug in, no, exactly, but still, it's an amazing, amazing feat. He was an actually amazing guy. He had his faults like that. The whole Indian thing was a terrible thing to say about Indians. But, but uh, What else did you anyways, want to share tonight, Dana? Go ahead. The, the debt thing there. You know, when people talk about the debt in this country, they're missing one one even more important. They talk about $18 trillion in debt, and really the, the, the amount of debt in this country is approaching on $200 million, $200 uh, trillion. Are you uh, you're calculating in like unfunded liabilities, things like future Social Security yeah. payments and stuff like that, right? Yes, exactly. Future Social Security payments, and uh, one thing that they don't they don't tell you that um, um, federal workers, state workers, um, all these people, unions. The federal government has tons of unions. Pensions. They're all getting huge, yeah, huge pensions. Mm-hmm. Um, Look, look for an example in our town here. I mean, I've never heard of a situation where taxpayer money for property, property taxes are paid, and they go to fund somebody else's pe- pension. I mean, that is absolutely, it's insane. Yeah, Think it about is. that. On the federal level, it's, its I mean, you, the money you pay for a house in Keene here or anywhere, I mean, a certain percentage of that is going to fund the pension of a policeman or a yep. fireman or any city worker. Um, it's, how how long it's do you think they got left? I mean, I, you, you're right. There's a lot of unfunded uh, monies out there that needs, you know, that are that should count towards debt, and at some point will. I mean, how long do you think the U.S. government has left? How long can they keep the dishes spinning in the air? I think I think in reality, I think within three to four years it'll collapse. Really? Jeez. And when I think, coll- no, I do because here here's what I think is going to happen. Uh, right now, you have zero or one percent interest rates. Um, if interest rates double, which it's very easy to do, to go to one, one and a half to three percent, it is still uh, extremely low. But right now they're paying 37 or 38 percent of the money they take in to pay interest on the federal debt. The minute that it goes up, they can't allow it to go up. But at some point, the bond market decides um, on long-term interest rates what happens. Yeah. The minute it starts creeping up, it wipes the whole go- the whole government out. There's no more welfare. There's no more entitlements. There's nothing. You're down to living on just the money that you take in, and which it should be anyways. I mean, they overspend. It's, it's, well, it's at this uh, point, income tax happening. almost 100 percent of income tax goes towards uh, interest on on the debt. Well, Dana, I hope you're right. Exactly. I hope your prediction comes true. I thank you for the call tonight. Appreciate it. It won't from be you. anarchy. There's still state, county, municipal governments that are uh, that are oh, in yeah. charge. I mean, it's not going to. You know, everything's not collapsing just because the federal government has spent itself into insolvency. We'll come back with more, and you can share your thoughts at 855 450 free. This is the live Saturday Free Talk Live. It's Lumber Liquidator's third annual Yellow and Black Friday flooring sale. Right now, get incredible end-of-year deals before they're gone. There's no better time to get hardwoods, like Brazilian Koa for an unheard of 40% off. And all bamboo is up to 30% off. Plus, our thickest and best laminates are 25% off our lowest prices. And get 26-month special financing. Even more deals are added daily in our stores. It only happens once a year. Visit LumberLiquidators.com to find a store near you. Majid lives in Nor Devin, Armenia, with his wife, kids, and grandkids, all in the same house. They have cows, but to compete against the big ranchers, Majid needed to get a loan for more cattle. Free Talk Live helped him get a loan for the cows. He bought them, and now he's very happy with the expansion of his farm. You can help us help more people by getting your coffee through coffee.freetalklive.com. Make a difference, one cup at a time. Get a free pound to try out the subscription. Cancel at any time. coffee.freetalklive.com. 
Registered pharmacist Ben Fuchs ensures he gets the best use of his mineral supplements by using Longevity's Ultimate Enzymes. If you start a nutritional supplement program and you find that you get loose stools more than you get any benefits from the supplements, there's a good chance that you're not absorbing the minerals. Now, here's the thing about minerals and mineral absorption. You need to have a functioning fat system. You need to have functioning bile. You need to have a well-functioning liver and a well-functioning gallbladder in order to get the benefits from nutritional supplements with minerals. It's very common that as we get older, we don't absorb fats, we don't utilize fats, and then you won't be utilizing or absorbing minerals either. I would be getting on the ultimate enzymes from longevity. I'd be making sure I was taking them with all my meals. To get optimal use of your nutritional supplements, order Ultimate Enzymes from Longevity by calling 866-735-2470. That's 866-735-2470 or on the web at brightsidebed.com. That's brightsidebed.com. Order today. Uh, excuse me, is this where I get a license to start a new business? I wouldn't be hasty. You have to get a license to go out of business, too, you know. Oh, well, look, I've invented this little anti-gravity machine, see? Oh, is that why you're walking two inches above the floor? <laughs> oh, yes, it's it's very comfortable. It saves on shoe leather. Yeah, well, you have to fill out these forms and report to the Human Services Department of Manpower Orientation and register with the Fair Employment Practice Commission, just the Wage wanna... and Hour Division of the Employment Standards Administration, the State Sales and Income Tax Division, the Internal Revenue Service, look, and the I Social Security Administration li- of the Department of Health, Education, and Wealth. Fair and of course, OSHA. OSHA? I thought that was a little town in Wisconsin. You'll find out. Say, floating around like that could be dangerous. Have you checked with the Consumer Product Safety Commission? Well, not yet. Come to think of it, you actually are flying, aren't you? Look, you need to go over to the Federal Aviation Administration and the Transportation... It's very hard to get anything done these days if you're in business, but Free Enterprise built this country. Think what could happen if we don't keep it free. A public service of this station and the Center for the Defense of Free Enterprise, Bellevue, Washington. We just can't have people floating about unregulated, you know. So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at lrn.fm? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet, around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live, originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at lrn.fm. That's lrn.fm. This is Mark of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the economic engine that powers our country. With a printing press tethered to Washington bureaucrats and New York central bankers, how can we trust paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, or go to gold.freetalklive.com. Again, 877-357-9938. 877-357-9938. If you enjoy LRN.FM, please contribute to your favorite shows via their websites and become an amplifier at amp.lrn.fm. That's amp.lrn.fm. It's Free Talk Live. You can take control of the airwaves right here at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Live Saturday edition of the program. You are invited to join us here on the air. We've also got Skype, by the way. You can Skype in at username lrn.fm. With you in the studio, you've got Ian. And Mark. And don't forget, you can visit us at freetalklive.com. Like the show? Want to help support Free Talk Live? Shop with us. You can do that by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Enter Amazon through the links you will find there, and Free Talk Live, when you buy something, will get a cut of the sale. I just bought some peace flags, actually, uh, over at Amazon. They've got a great price on peace flags at Amazon, the best price on the entire internet, so I buy a bunch of them. Uh, Did you get some new colors so the people that steal them all the time can I get new colors? I wish that I could get different colors, but they don't have that. No, no, you got to keep the same color. That way that they don't feel like they have to steal more than one. That's a good point, Mark. And now here on the Free Streets Project, we have the house across the street that has donned the peace flag, which is uh, an excellent, uh, I guess, step forward, I think, for the for the neighborhood. So if you want to check out the Free Streets Project, you can go to Facebook. There's a page there. But, of course, we're also uh, fans of the Free State Project, and they came out recently. I don't think we mentioned this on our Saturday show. No, I don't think we did because the movie came out Monday. Uh, there's a brand new movie that has come out. And it was uh, created by Free State Project participants. Longtime listeners of the show know What's that the Free State Project? we are Free State Project participants. We've moved our lives to New Hampshire in order to be active. 
to achieve liberty in our lifetime. The idea of the Free State Project is to have 20,000 such movers. Now, Mark, you and I were early movers. We came back in 2006. If you were to move tomorrow to New Hampshire for the Free State Project, you would still also be, early. be an early mover because the Free State Project wants to reach 20,000 people who pledge to make that move. And then the 20,000 will have a five-year window in which to move. We have over 16,000 people who have pledged as of today. So we're still working to get to that 20,000 goal. And I think this new movie that came out, The 101 Reasons Liberty Lives in New Hampshire, it's available free online in HD at 101reasonsfilm.com. Please check it out. If you've heard us talking about the Free State Project, this movie does such an amazing job, I think, in, in one hour, just chock full of information, pr presenting all kinds of information about why New Hampshire really is the best place for freedom in the future, today and in the future. Like, it's arguable the best, most free place right now in the United States. And then in the future, it's got a bright future because we're going to have more libertarians living here, you know, and voluntarists and anarchists, you know, than you could possibly even keep track of. There's so much happening here. And this movie gives you a good slice of that community and some of the stuff that's going on. And it's free. You can watch it over at 101reasonsfilm.com. Now, it's not available to purchase uh, on DVD yet, but I did put a DVD ISO, an image, DVD image together. Uh, you can download that, and I think they're going to put that up on the 101reasonsfilm.com uh, website pretty soon. At the very least, you can go— But you go can get it on HD on, on YouTube. Yes. Yes, you can. But, you know, it's kind of cool to have a shiny platter that you can take to people's houses and, yeah. you know— plug into a it's DVD true. player and play for somebody. So that's available. You can actually go to uh, victimlesscrimesfree.com and look on the right-hand side in the ad, the ads area, and you'll see an ad for that DVD ISO there. So anyway, go check that out, 101reasonsfilm.com. We'll continue here, and your calls are welcome. Let's go to, we've got Jason in Mississippi. You're on Free Talk Live. Jason. Hey. Hi, Jason. This, this, I, I want to know this right here. Like, is it is it, is it, is we okay in America? I mean, I understand what the government is trying to do. You know what I'm saying? What are they trying to do? But if he bringing but if he bringing bring immigrants over here, it's still hurting us because it's hurting the average guy that they you know you just can go. I'm an average guy. I'm yep. gonna say that I'm an average guy. Let's say I got a job. I'm working forty hours a week. Yep. The job probably paying me thirteen dollars an hour. Okay. If I'm bringing home. Five, my check probably be six hundred dollars. By the time they take out child support, four hundred one k, my little benefits. You're scraping by. I probably bring home about four hundred. Mm -hmm. Okay, in some in some states, the, the community I live in, be honest with you, that's not a lot of money. No. But it, I mean, that's not a lot of money. But it's just, just say, I'm gonna play this. I bring six hundred dollars home a week. Okay. And then I got a spouse. She bringing about six hundred dollars home a week too. So you really can live off of that. You know what I'm saying? You really can. But that's the point that what I don't understand is they taking that little bit of money from us too. How are they taking that money from you? I, how's that exactly. related to immigrants? Like because jobs don't pay us pay pay you nothing anymore. They're that's not the immigrants' fault. That's that's not the fault no, of you're immigrants. Right, you're right, you're right. But what I'm saying is what I'm what I'm what I'm basically just saying is. On that, it just do you remember how it used to be? Now it's about prejudice and jobs and have always that, sucked. Like, I mean, jobs like have always not, been... it's, not, it's, not, it's like they ain't focusing on America. They focus focusing more on proceeds and. And I'll let them well, it's certainly true that the U.S. federal government is spending, you know, trillions of dollars blowing things up overseas for no real apparent reason. I mean, that that much is true. They're not focusing the resources here uh, that they are stealing from people. Of course, you know, if you could actually take well, home all six hundred dollars, that would help. I, hang on, hang on, Jason. I'd like to, you know, kind of answer your question here. Um, but to blame the immigrants, it's just scapegoating. I mean, if there's a difficulty in this country, it's because the government has restricted the market place to make it so that you know you can't start your own business look jobs have always at least in my lifetime jobs have always sucked i mean they've been things that people do because they need to get by and they you know that they just have to have some sort of money coming in and it's something that people do for that reason but a lot of people take jobs because they can't start their own business and that might be their dream they may have something they want to do maybe it's making ice cream or you know making dinners or uh, cutting lawns or whatever it might be i'm sorry 
now stuff's so high. But like you say, now stuff's so high. It's so ridiculous. Well, right. Again, you need to blame the government for that one, too, Jason. And the, and the reason why is because they're printing money, and that tends to raise the price of everything. I'll, we can explain further. Thanks for the call tonight. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. So there's a lot of factors as to why a job, you can barely make it. Uh, Mark, you know, inflation, I think, is a big one here because you've got the central bank tied in with the federal government. They can print as much money as they want, and when they do that, it increases the supply supply of money in the economy, and that tends to make it so that prices will rise in response to that increased money out there. Well, it also, and the uh, prices are rising at the same and, and at the same time, the amount of money that the paychecks you're getting paid doesn't go up to to match the rises in prices. In so, fact, contracts at this point. Um, there's been because what of contracts. Well, the, essentially, the economy contracted, and it what it wants to do is it wants to pay people less money. The economy wants to pay less money because of the overprinting of currency back before the uh, the housing bubble. And because of that, what you have are people out of work, specifically males, uh, non-whites, mm-hmm. and young people. young people. So if you are a young black male, you're screwed um, as far as the economy goes because there's somebody out there who's demanding a higher a higher pay wage through a, through a higher minimum wage. Um, they're demanding more money, but the economy wants to wants to pay people less. And so what happens is, is it takes somebody who's you know a, a middle aged person and pays the minimum wage, and the younger people can't get jobs. Well, and at the same time, the Federal Reserve hasn't stopped printing out money, so they keep inflating. It's not going to right. They keep inflating the money supply, making. The prices of things tend to go up. It's just a it's a general statement that they tend to go up. There certainly are advances in manufacturing technology and you know the marketplace delivery systems and things like that that can bring prices down over time to to fight with the ravages of inflation. But ultimately, inflation over time is you know the reason why bread costs four dollars a loaf instead of twenty five cents a loaf or you know whatever bread could cost indeed without that process. So the more prices go up without paychecks going up, and if you're saying the pressure is to take paychecks down in uh, in amount, then that will make it even harder and harder and harder for people on sort of the bottom end of the pay scale to make things work. If you're a rich person, it doesn't really matter too much to you if bread costs $4 or $2. But if you are very, you know, if you're poor or lower middle class, that can hurt a lot. And, and But what immigrants do is immigration uh, tends to drive pricing down because immigrants tend to work for less mm-hmm. at uh, the lower skilled jobs. That may have been what he was upset about. It may very well be. But it's kind of hard to bemoan. Think about uh, from the past. Do you feel bad for the candlestick makers because we have electric light? No. The fact is is that things have to change. They're constantly changing. And we, the individuals who work, and I'm not speaking as somebody to, you know, high and mighty in some giant office building talking to a microphone. Um, we, we bootstrap this show. You're in my living room right now. Yeah. And I, um, I've i washed dishes for a living. I've been a roofer for a living. Mm-hmm. I have uh, run a convenience store. Yeah. I mean, you know, I, I know what it's like out there. But that's just the reality of the marketplace. If yeah. you want the innovation, you have to allow uh, goods and services and labor's a service. You have to allow it to be free. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE, and that means you should be free to start your own business. And right now, in most places, you've got to beg the government's permission. you got to grease palms. you got to have hundreds of thousands of dollars, and that keeps people out of the market to compete. More coming up. Free Talk Live. Here's a good idea. When you have a legal matter like creating your will or legally setting up a business with a corporation or LLC, you don't necessarily need a law firm. Use LegalZoom.com. At LegalZoom.com, you answer straightforward questions online, and they take care of the rest. They even review your answers for common mistakes and guarantee your satisfaction. Free Talk Live listeners, you'll get 10% off your order by typing in FTL in the referral box at purchase. Don't procrastinate with these important legal documents. LegalZoom.com. Free Talk Live has partnered with Amazon, the largest internet retailer. Imagine a department store category, and Amazon has it. Books, electronics, office products, furniture, jewelry, automotive, toys, clothing, sporting goods, and dozens of other categories. Now you can shop and support Free Talk Live by entering Amazon through our website. Go to shop.freetalklive.com, and Amazon will send us a portion of your purchase. You're going to do the shopping anyway, so remember to enter through our site at shop.freetalklive.com. That's shop.freetalklive.com. Radio is the most personal of mediums. I exist right now in your head. 
If you listen to Free Talk Live regularly, you know me. Free Talk Live is on more than 160 radio stations around the U.S. and has been downloaded on every continent around the world. Hundreds of thousands of listeners with ad packages from $600 a month to $6,000 a month. Imagine what we can do for your business, project, website, or idea. Email me, mark at freetalklive.com. Free Talk Live has partnered with Amazon, the largest internet retailer. Imagine a department store category, and Amazon has it. Books, electronics, office products, furniture, jewelry, automotive, toys, clothing, sporting goods, and dozens of other categories. Now you can shop and support Free Talk Live by entering Amazon through our website. Go to shop.freetalklive.com, and Amazon will send us a portion of your purchase. You're going to do the shopping anyway, so remember to enter through our site at shop.freetalklive.com. That's shop.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number three is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. From Keene in the Shire, the Liberty Media Capital of the World, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Saturday, November 22nd, 2014. Silver is trading at $16.45 per ounce. Gold is valued at $1,202 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $358. Antiwar.com reports a U.S. drone destroyed a house in Madakel village in North Waziristan yesterday, killing six people and wounding three others. None of the slain were identified, but all were labeled suspects. If that story sounds awfully familiar, it's because it is. That drone attack marks the 500th confirmed U.S. drone strike outside of actual war zones with just about 10 years worth of strikes. The strikes were extremely rare at first. A couple of years in Pakistan during the waning years of the Bush administration, now the attacks are increasingly common, not just in Pakistan, but in Yemen as well. The 500 attacks have killed some 3,674 people, and while only 473 are listed as confirmed civilians, the vast majority of the other slain have never been conclusively identified, remaining forever suspects. The use of suspects as a catch-all for random slain tribesmen has become increasingly common in recent years, with the number of people ever named at all now merely a handful of the hundred slain yearly. FPP Radio News is brought to you by Roberts & Roberts Brokerage. For over 35 years, Roberts & Roberts has been a trusted source for buying and selling your investment-grade precious metals. They now take Bitcoin for purchasing precious metals so you can turn your profits into a long-term investment. Call Roberts & Roberts today for knowledgeable advice on investing. 800-874-9760 ABC News reports, on May 25th, 1975, Ricky Jackson and Wiley Bridgman went to jail for a murder they did not commit. Sentenced to death on the testimony of a single juvenile witness, the men continued to protest their innocence through the years of incarceration. On Friday, nearly 40 years later, they walked out of prison after the state's witness in the case admitted that he concocted his testimony under police intimidation. A case suffused with emotion culminated in exoneration Friday morning when Cuyahoga County Common Pleas Judge Richard McMonagall formally dismissed all charges against Jackson after a brief hearing. Bridgman, whose case was heard separately, was exonerated two hours later by Judge David Mattia. The two joined Bridgman's younger brother, Ronnie, who was found guilty of the same crime and eventually paroled in 2003. The three were originally jailed for the 1975 murder of Harry Franks, a Cleveland businessman, after a 12-year-old witness, Edward Vernon, told police that he had seen them attack the victim. No physical evidence linked them to the crime scene. Jackson was just 19 when he was sentenced to die, Wiley Bridgman was 20, and Ronnie was 17. Wiley Bridgman, now 60, quietly thanked the judge and attorneys in the courthouse as his case was dismissed. He had once been less than three weeks away from execution, rescued when the U.S. Supreme Court struck down Ohio's previous capital punishment law in 1978. The case was a major victory for the Ohio Innocence Project, which coordinated much of the investigation into the exonerating evidence and whose staff attorney, Brian Howe, represented to Jackson. Terry Gilbert and David Mills, who together represented the brothers, worked with the Innocence Project during the case. 
In the spirit of Motorhome Diaries and Liberty on Tour, I intend to take the message of peace, love, and liberty on the road. To find out more about the tour or to donate, visit tour.fppradio.com. That's T-O-U-R dot F-P-P-Radio dot com. The BBC reports a U.S. House of Representatives investigation has found no wrongdoing by the Obama administration in responding to the deadly 2012 attack on the U.S. consulate in Benghazi, Libya. The inquiry by the Republican-run House Intelligence Committee also said there is no intelligence failure and no delay in sending a CIA rescue team. The Obama administration had been accused of mishandling its response. In a report released on Friday, the committee dismissed a claim that the CIA had not provided adequate security for its own agents near the Benghazi consulate and that the Obama administration had failed to send support. It said it reached its conclusion based on thousands of hours of detailed investigation and interviews with senior American officials and the agents who had been on the ground during the attack on September 11, 2012. This has been FPP Radio News, online at fppradio.com. It's the video sensation that's taking the internet by storm. A web series on YouTube passed the 100 views mark this week. Titled Andrew and John, the wildly popular webisodes feature roommates Andrew Vanier and John Haney playing fictionalized versions of themselves in unusual situations, mostly set in and around their Chicago apartment. Dude, did you get my tart? What's a tart? Oh, you just texted me a fart. Their latest short titled Laundry Day reached the unprecedented 100 view milestone this week after a heavy promotional push in which the duo posted the skits to their Facebook pages. The hit video features the roommates wearing unconventional outfits while scrounging up enough change to do laundry in their basement. Other popular episodes include Foreign Landlord featuring John's friend Brett from work and a video where Andrew suspects John might be a zombie. Our videos consistently get over 50 views now, but Laundry Day, that's the first mm -hmm. one that's really taken off. Yeah, everyone I know has seen it. It's completely viral. This is the Onion News Network. This is Free Talk Live. You dial toll-free. Bring up anything you want. 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. We have more from the latest episode of Lend Me Your Ears. This is the web series being released ostensibly by ISIS featuring one of their captives, John Cantley, and we'll see what he has to say here in just a few moments. Basically, it's a propaganda series, and we've been playing them all here on Free Talk Live because you don't get that on probably any other talk radio show. Well, they're busy uh, with their own propaganda. Out there. So we'll continue with that here when we get a chance. Your calls and thoughts first. However, Dale is in Des Moines. You're on Free Talk Live. Hey, Dale. Hi, guys. Uh, I, I miss hearing your, your female counterpart there. Steph, I think it was. Stephanie, yeah, uh, um, she's on on Sundays. She was on on Sunday. Oh, she's okay. No, I didn't know she, she was gone for good or something. She's no longer on. Sunday. I'm sorry, I didn't state it properly. Mark is in a time warp at the moment. <laughs> she uh, was was on on Sundays. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. Well, here's anyway, what I would recommend. I here's Dale. Too. Dale, I'd like to recommend this to you. Uh, you can hear more female voices on Free Talk Live during the week. We have a weekday program. Now, you don't hear that in Des Moines on the radio station you're, you're tuned into, but you could at some point. So call the program director and tell him you really like Free Talk Live and you'd like to hear more of it. I'll do that. I'll do that. Cool. I've really enjoyed your program here the last couple months. Thanks, man. Go ahead with your so, thoughts tonight. Well, you know, it's probably a, uh, maybe it's just completely outlandish, but I was thinking about Ferguson and I thought about that policeman. And I thought, well, you know, if I was in his place, would it be possible to go to the arbitrary judge or the county attorney, you know, the prosecuting attorney and stuff and say, hey, to quail this thing down, go on and indict me for something? You know, I, and I mean, I mean, if it was possible and then say whatever, a year later, drop the indictment down and reduce the charge somehow, you know, to. I, I don't know if that's feasible under the law or if that's jurisprudence. It's totally feasible. Or, it's you not know, actually. It's and, actually not and, a bad plan. Yeah, from a, a matter a, of fact, from a from a, from a uh, uh, you know a very political standpoint, uh, it it probably makes some sense to do just to appease people. I think that they have to have a grand jury to indict. Is it for any felony? That would be probably any felony. Any yes. felony. Um, and yeah. then, but they could cool. certainly drop those felony charges after they got the indictment. That's correct. If that's the what prosecutor they has the discretion to drop a charge. But in the Rodney King case, uh, I, I I don't can't remember how long after 
the uh, the beating, the whatever ruling that caused uh, L.A. to go up in flames uh, occurred. But it, I mean, you know, in that case, it was some time after. Yeah, and I don't know if it would really quell the initial, but it seems like with the or initial the violence, so probable, you know, that, gosh, you know, give it a shot. Say, maybe we can calm him down if we don't really do it, you know, but formally charge this guy for another six months or something, and then somehow reduce the charge on the thing. I think if I was the policeman and I was thinking actually about public safety and your, and your oath to protect people, you know, I think I'd say within myself and go to the county prosecutor and say, hey, listen, if we can quell this thing a little bit, Go on and indict me and give me some kind of reassurance yeah, that that's... you're actually going to give me a good trial and hear me out and hear out the evidence and maybe reduce that charge later or something. And yeah. I think that's what be... most people want is just some kind of trial to see the evidence as mm-hmm. opposed to a grand jury seeing it in, in private, you know? I mean, I think that yeah. that's the sure. – if, if at the very least there was some kind of trial, because none of us know what happened there, right? Um, and that's whatever right. evidence yeah. is available, let's see it. Yeah, I think you've come yeah, up with an interesting. Play out in a, yeah. I think you've come let up with an interesting idea, in Dale. Public I th- opinion. Yeah. The so. uh, the officer, of course, you know, probably doesn't want to put his butt on the line in any way, shape, or form. But again, Why would he? you know, he should know that police tend to not get the same level of punishment. Mark, did you do a story this week on Thursday night show where a prosecutor has finally been the first ex- prosecutor in the U.S. history has been sentenced? What he did was what he's a judge currently. Um, it was this was years ago, uh, twenty five years ago. He withheld evidence in a case. Um, including the one witness saying that that wasn't the guy. He withheld the evidence, and the guy, they finally indicted the first, pro- excuse me, sentenced the first prosecutor. He got 10 days in jail for a man going to prison for 25 years. Yeah, so I mean, there's no doubt that the court system favors its own people, and so this officer right, probably yeah. wouldn't really have much to fear if he went through with what you were talking about. I think it's an interesting proposal, Dale. Anything else you want to share tonight? No, uh, no, but enjoy you guys' program. I, I, I intend on finding out a little bit more about the Free State program and stuff. That's really been interesting to listen to. I just haven't had a chance to sit down and really really uh, look into it. Just but make it, a note. Jot down, jot down this web URL, 101reasonsfilm.com. I Anybody think who considers the themselves a libertarian or somebody who likes the ideas of liberty, they should see this film. Yeah, it's a, it is a must-watch for sure. Dale, thanks for the call tonight. And it'll only take an hour of your time. And, you know, if you don't have an hour right now, if you got 15 minutes, sit down, watch it for 15 minutes, and then pause it and come back to it, you know, uh, when you got another 10 minutes or something like that. I mean, if you were to just watch it, if you're really time challenged and you were to just sit down and watch this movie in chunks while you're taking a coffee break or you're I think you'd be fine. eating your breakfast, it's a great way to, uh, to do it. It's chock full of information. In fact, you're probably going to want to watch it more than once just because it's so informative and so interesting. 101reasonsfilm.com if you love liberty. If, on the other hand, you love the state and controlling other people, then stay, stay far away from New Hampshire. Uh, toll free numbers 855 450 free. Right back into more of your calls with James in Missouri. You're on Free Talk Live. James. Hey, thank hey. you. Hey, thank you. What, what um, station are you listening to, by the way, James? Uh, Kiss AM. Kiss AM. And where are you in Missouri, if I may ask? So there are you. Very good. All right. KSIS. Gotcha. AM 1050. Go ahead KSIS. with your thoughts. Um, what I was going to say is, uh, I grew up outside of Philadelphia. I was in the suburbs, and we, uh, I mean, it was conglomerate of uh, Jewish, Italian, Irish, Egyptian, everything. And nobody even cared about who you were or, or where you came from. If you were a good person, that's all that matters. That's how it ought to be. Yeah, and, and a lot of times in those neighborhoods, yeah. if they do say something, they're kidding about it, right? Like, oh, you Irish guy oh, or whatever. Yeah. Now, now, we used to, yeah, I probably couldn't say this, but we used to call each other. They called me a Mick because okay. I'm Irish. <laughs> and, you know, we called people, you're a wop, you know, yeah. or you're, you're a kike. But That's... everything was all in jest. <laughs> And all this stuff nowadays, I mean, I'm old. I'm getting 65. Mm -hmm. But all this crap nowadays, I I really don't understand it because it's just, it's ridiculous. When you say all this crap, that could mean a lot. What do you mean? 
all this prejudice. Okay. Towards do you feel like anybody. it's more? Do you feel like there's more prejudice now than seems 40, like there might be less than 40 years ago? I don't know. There's a whole lot more now. Is it because you're not yeah. in Phil, uh, you know, the Philadelphia area that you're now in, you know, Sedalia, Missouri, and that there's more? It just seems like there's more around. No, no, there, there it's worse than Philadelphia. Why? Why? What? Well, never was. Why? What, what's your speculation as to the reason? Well, in Philadelphia, it's the Muslims. What? Do you, wait. What does that mean? It's the Muslims. They are totally against white people. And Have you met a Muslim well. who has expressed that to you? Uh, yeah, many years ago. Okay. And it's still the same. Do you do you and think that so, just because one let's I'll give it to you there's certainly a possibility that there's some bizarre sect of Muslims that doesn't like white people but uh, you know like the uh, nation of Islam the nation of Islam would be a good example but many Muslims would argue that the nation of Islam is not a true uh, is not true is truly Islamic and that they've got a lot of uh, issues that's I mean I was reading a book about Malcolm X and it you know went into some of the details as to you know why it is that a lot of people who uh, who actually are Muslim and you know are not in the nation of Islam think that the nation of Islam is a huge problem um, and even you know Malcolm X came to the con- that conclusion left the nation of Islam and was killed by the nation of Islam uh, for that so you know in my life when I've encountered Muslims they've been very peace oriented and I've in fact met white Muslims so you know they obviously don't feel like they're being spurned by people within their religion how do you explain that uh, well I don't feel that they're being spurred by their their religion. I feel that they're, uh, they feel that they uh, need to be on top of things, as they have in Philadelphia at the polling places, and they've told them that, you know, you're going to vote this way, you're going to vote that James, way. thanks for the call. There's more coming up here on Free Talk Live. Are you searching for your soulmate? Someone you can trust, who will never betray you, or cooperate with the NSA? Stop searching. With EasyDNS, you found a keeper. EasyDNS does it all. Domain names, web hosting, and managed WordPress hosting. EasyDNS stands up for your internet freedom. And with servers in Canada, they do not cooperate with the NSA. Go to EasyDNS.com. You'll love their services or get a full refund. They guarantee it. And they accept Bitcoin. That's EasyDNS.com. Here's a good idea. When you have a legal matter like creating your will or legally setting up a business with a corporation or LLC, you don't necessarily need a law firm. Use LegalZoom.com. At LegalZoom.com, you answer straightforward questions online, and they take care of the rest. They even review your answers for common mistakes and guarantee your satisfaction. Free Talk Live listeners, you'll get 10% off your order by typing in FTL in the referral box at purchase. Don't procrastinate with these important legal documents. LegalZoom.com. Hi, this is Mark Edge, host of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the very economic engine that powers this country. With a printing press tethered to Washington politicians, bureaucrats, and central bankers, how can we put our trust in paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Come see gold.freetalklive.com or call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold. With Washington, D.C. delivering more debt and printed promises, common sense tells us the future of the trend is obvious. Everyone listening should visit gold.freetalklive.com or call 877-357-9938. I trust Midas Resources for my gold, silver, platinum, and you can too. Again, I want you to have this book, and it's free. It's gold.freetalklive.com or 877-357-9938. 877-357-9938. Since time began, tyrants have taken aim at personal liberties. Now there's a movie that aims back. The government has no more right to tell us what to put in our bodies than they have to take our guns or tell us what books we can read. Six drug police were eaten by bears while raiding a marijuana farm. On your knees, you dirty hippies! Jesus. On your knees! Today, many cops who enforce pot laws do so only because it provides them with cushy jobs, good benefits, and a chance to push people around. I was an undercover narcotics officer. The drug war is nothing but a farce. The Second Amendment says you gotta keep you and your gat intact. Guns and Weed, the road to freedom. A 
film by Michael W. Dean and Nima Vidati. DVD available now at GunsAndWeed.com or on Amazon. That's GunsAndWeed.com. Makes the perfect gift. Remember, that's GunsAndWeed.com. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. If there was a place that liberty-minded people had been elected to political positions and were rolling back government, would you move there? If freedom lovers had secured a 20% voting block and can veto most bad bills, would you move? Well, the time has come to sign the pledge at freestateproject.org. These things have happened in New Hampshire, and you can join us and help. freestateproject.org. Sign up now at freestateproject.org. You can put the Liberty Radio Network on the air in your area. Visit broadcast.lrn.fm to learn how. Broadcast.lrn.fm Free Talk Live, you can dial in toll-free right here on this live Saturday edition. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. You can join us online over at freetalklive.com. Something you'll find on our website. We don't talk about the website features too often on Free Talk Live because it's such a deep website. There's so much to it. There's a lot on Free Talk Live. It's a big website. Yeah, you can go to freetalklive.com. You can easily listen to audio from the show. You can download archives, listen to live streaming. All that stuff's fairly prominent, fairly easy. But when you dig into the menus and you really get into it, we've got a guest section on Free Talk Live where we've taken the... Look, this isn't a guest show. We hardly ever have them on. But every now and then, we will bring a guest on. And when we do, we put them up, archive permanently into our guest page. So you can go on our guest page, and you can see dozens of people that we've had on over the last decade. We had Will Coley on the show for three hours, which it's pretty rare we'll have a guest on for longer than an hour. Indeed. It's a, that's a marathon. It is. We had Will Coley on, and it was an, it was a fascinating show. That just kept going. And this is the guy from Muslims for Liberty. Right. I'm bringing this up in reference to the last call that we just had where the guy was – I liked a lot of what he was saying in the beginning about people getting along with one another in the city when he was growing up. That was cool. Like, you know, people from different uh, parts of the world, different colors of skin, you know, just knowing one another and caring about each other and, you know, There's a perception in this country that uh, people who immigrate uh, immigrate to this country from Muslim countries who are Islamic um, are here to take over. You know, they're going to shove Sharia law down our throat and, um, you know, whatever else it is that they're going to do. But consider this for a second. That's been said about every immigrant group Mm. that has ever been said, talked about here in the United States. You can go back and read Benjamin Franklin complaining about the Germans in Pennsylvania. I mean, it has gone on and on. And as the Irish know, they've never been treated well, but somehow in the last... I don't know how long it's been precisely eight, nine decades. The Irish just kind of slipped in. You very rarely hear anti-Irish statements here in the United States. But 100 years ago, you certainly did. Yeah. And so I wanted to put that archive out there for anybody listening, like our last caller, who has heard this claim that you know Muslims are going to take over, they're going to shove their Sharia law down our throat, they hate uh, Christians, et cetera, et cetera, all this stuff. That they might be parroting on the Fox News, for instance, or on talk radio elsewhere. Go to guests.freetalklive.com. Look for Will Coley in the list of the guests and just go and listen to that three-hour Saturday show. It was one of our Saturday shows from, uh, what, two or three months ago at this point. I think it was in September when that happened. 
And uh, and just you'll hear him answer a lot of these questions and these objections, and he's just he's the great the, the best guy for that job. I mean, I've done some research into, right, but he's well researched. There's no way that we can know everything about everything. He's an actual Muslim who has done a lot of research on this stuff, and you know he's an actual Muslim, so you know what he has to say is a lot more. Valid. He's also a member of his local Tea Party, and I think that mm-hmm. that um, you know with the intention of sort of explaining these things to people. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, don't believe what you hear on the television, and also while it may be true there may Demagogues be Demagogues some... have to have enemies. Right. Well, there may be some racist Muslims out there, just like there are racist Christians out that, there. I'm sure there are. Plenty. And, uh, you know, just keep in mind that the, I guess, Orthodox Muslim religion, they don't agree with the Nation of Islam. The toll-free number is 855-453. John is in Chesapeake. You're on Free Talk Live in Virginia. Hey, John, you're on the air. Hey. Hey, guys. Hey, what's uh, on your mind tonight? I'll tell you, you uh, go from one... Uh, Anyhow, I do think the most valuable uh, talk that you can do right now is this uh, morality and the different religions that are out there. A lot of people don't even know really what they believe. That's true. Uh, I've read a little bit. Yeah, I've read a little bit in the Quran. I've studied uh, Christianity and the ancient Greek text, the unedited, unedited text. And I found that uh, a little bit, it's hard to find an original writing in the Quran. And I do believe why Muslims tend to look for people. Uh, with a lower IQ, is because of like the old religions. They want people to do what they're told. So they, they interpret what Muhammad had said. You just listen to me and I'll tell you what Muhammad has said. Whereas Christianity, or at least some forms of Christianity, encourage you to look at what Christ has told you and how you should live your life. Um, I've never heard I've were, never heard Christ, Christianity make that uh, statement. I mean, usually... Well, Maybe there are some sects. Yeah, there's but... usually some guy at the front of the room telling you what to believe. Right. Well, they all want to do that. They want to control your life with a, a couple of their words. You know, they want to start wars and have us not get along and say, well, we're doing this. We're going to kill them in the name of God. That's what they all want to do. But Christianity is a little bit different. The text is available to us. And if you really care uh, about what this particular God that Jesus was talking about says, you will read it. I mean, anybody can get a hold of a strong concordance and read the book of Matthew. It's the best. I think that's the best recorded uh, uh, text of how Jesus lived when he was here. And well, he was Mark is the follow. oldest, and the rest of the books were written off of Mark. And one well, of the Mark, difficulties is is that uh, you know when you're talking about the book of Mark, uh, the earliest they're going to place it is 70 uh, A.D., and Jesus died in something like 28 A.D. So you're talking well, about Mark, essentially it, me writing a, uh, a a biography of Elvis today well, when he died in the 70s and i don't have television i don't have anything else this is one of the things i really have a problem with the ancient text right, well, i have a very big problem with the fact that they're written in greek uh, generally why aren't they if, if jesus is a jew why aren't they written in hebrew you're getting a little too excited uh you <laughs> yes, need to calm down mark mark was not a disciple he never actually spoke with christ matthew oh, wasn't well. alive when when matthew was written now matthew his recordings, he did spend time with Christ, and John spent some time with Christ. But see, Matthew was different because he was a Jewish tax collector, which made him uh, an educated man of that time, even though they thought he was a traitor as a Jew, but he was educated so that he would record, I think he recorded the most accurate things uh, that Jesus was talking about. What evidence is that, there that Matthew wrote Matthew? Well, I'm not saying Matthew wrote it himself, but at least he was educated enough to write some text himself, okay? Um, I found—now, I don't know whether this will make any sense to you. It goes against most all religions that are taught in Christianity that, as you know the Lord's Prayer, right? Most people know that. Now, you get down to, you pray for heaven to come to earth, you thank the Lord for your daily, you know, day my daily bread, and forgive me my sins— with the same measure, I forgive those who sin against me. Then at the end of that prayer, Jesus reiterated the fact about sin. Now, if sin is forgiven with the same measure, you forgive it. And if you don't forgive, you won't be forgiven. Most Christians are in big trouble. I know it. <laughs> you know? Run that by because me again. Of, uh, forgive well, us our debts as we forgive those who trespass. Or forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. I think his translation is well, better. But what are you getting at well, there? Are you saying that Christians aren't forgiving? Well, what I'm getting at, yeah. No, no. Here's what I'm getting at. 
if you choose not to forgive, you will not be forgiven. Mm. And the text I uh, used uh, in the in that uh, first uh, request for forgiveness was basically forgiving my sins against you, talking to God. And then at the end, he, Jesus reiterated, "If you don't forgive your brother who sins against you." Mm. Uh, and he reaffirmed that too with like yeah John I agree with you there I think Christians have a real uh, a lot of Christians right. have a real issue with uh, yeah. forgiveness and thank you for the call the toll free number is 855 450 free I think forgiveness is something that all people should practice it's free talk live Are you ready to surrender your right to buy body armor? No joke. Congress is now trying to outlaw civilian body armor. And if House Bill H.R. 5344 becomes law, you can kiss your right to protect yourself against rifle bullets goodbye. Don't put off your body armor purchase any longer. Go now to InfidelBodyArmor.com. Thousands of military veterans trust their lives to Infidel Body Armor. You should too. Spelled I-N-F-I-D-E-L. Infidel Body Armor. Just won't quit. For all our loyal listeners, it's time for another giveaway. Over the next 30 days, our friends at SupernaturalSilver.com are giving away six 16-ounce Supernatural Silver liquid valued at nearly $100 per bottle or their skin and body gel priced at $49.98. All you have to do is enter and win at GCNlive.com. Hurry, contest ends December 5th. GCN can give you and your loved ones a fighting chance with the Supernatural Silver giveaway at GCNlive.com. Why did you move to the Shire? I moved here to the Shire because there's other people around who take liberty just as seriously as I do. I moved to the Shire because I saw videos of people challenging authority and thought that I could get support myself. It called to me, like, do this right now. I wanted to be around people like me who got it. And once I got here, I knew there was nowhere else that I wanted to be. I've always wanted to change the world. So I moved to the Shire to join people who were actually working towards doing the same thing. The people here are awesome, loving, and positive. It was for the adventure and for the feeling of something important is happening here, and I just wanted to come to sort of be part of that. Visit ShireSociety.com to read and sign the Shire Society Declaration and learn the reasons why, if you love liberty, you should immigrate to the Shire. Plus, add yourself to the Shire map at ShireSociety.com. That's ShireSociety.com. This Your Family Today tip is brought to you by Juicy Juice, 100% juice, providing a full serving of fruit in every four ounces. Visit us at JuicyJuice.com. When it comes to nutrition, kids need both fruits and vegetables every day to stay healthy and grow. For the ideal mix, your kid should have at least one and a half cups of any veggie or 100% veggie juice and one cup of any fruit or 100% fruit juice a day. For more tips like these, visit us at Parenthood.com slash Your Family Today. You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone, 213-493-0308. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. So the protection of life, liberty, and property is is what the Free State Project is all about. But it's an an effort to move 20,000 people who understand. It's about demonstrating to the entire country. That, yeah, we can have a free market, a truly free market. Making it just a freer, great place to live. It's the world's largest voluntarist libertarian community, and it's it's only getting bigger. That's amazing, to be able to move to a place where other people like passionately believe in being free and independent. What the Free State Project is managing to do, though, is to put their money where their mouth is. It's physically getting up across the country and saying, let's go someplace and let's demonstrate the power of these ideas. There's a lot of kind of philosophy that surrounds liberty. There's a lot of thinking about it and talking about it. But here in New Hampshire, people are doing it. 101 Reasons Liberty Lives in New Hampshire, a documentary by Free State Project Early Movers. Watch it free at 101reasonsfilm.com, 101reasonsfilm.com. You can connect with the Liberty Radio Network via our Facebook page at facebook.lrn.fm. That's facebook.lrn.fm. It's 
Free Talk Live. You can take control toll-free. Live Saturday edition. Plenty of time, by the way, for your calls and thoughts. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-FREE. Do you have Bitcoin and need a car? New Age Auto Sales has late model used cars that they've cared for in their rental fleet. Since New Age Auto Sales is selling their own well-maintained cars, that means they're not paying auction fees and transport costs, so those don't get passed on to you. Their cars are in great condition, and they're priced to move. They can ship anywhere in the world. Go to NewAgeAutoSales.com and see what they have. They're looking to become the Bitcoin auto dealer. Now, of course, if you don't have enough Bitcoin, they can help you out in that case. Uh, and at NewAgeAutoSales.com, you get late model well-maintained cars shipped anywhere in the world for Bitcoin. Head to their website, give them a call, buy a car from the first Bitcoin auto dealership, newageautosales.com. Yeah, if you want uh, the Bitcoin economy to expand, you're going to have to buy things in Bitcoin. It's and true. Uh, New Age Auto Sales is the first, and as far as I know, the only place you can get cars, newageautosales.com. All right, let's go to Scott. He's in Ithaca listening to WNYY. Hello, Scott. Um. I really mostly was going to call about the secession issue, but I sure. just want to make one comment. I know it's a little bit more blatant. I'm a pretty observant Jew, and you know we believe that uh, that Jesus was a was a Jew, obviously, and, and actually maybe even a rabbi. Um, I'm pretty sure. You know, and, yeah, and the, uh, what outsiders call the Old Testament, I mean, we believe is the Torah. You know, there's laws about Sabbath or Shabbos that are eternal. In other words, we have to follow it forever, and so. One of the reasons that Jesus, I think, was shunned was because he tried to teach people to not follow the Sabbath the same way that we follow it. In other words, you're not supposed to work, you're not supposed to do certain things. And so that was that was the basic reason, you know, he was trying to turn Jews away from Orthodox Judaism. It was kind of like a little bit of a fork in the road. And like you guys said, you know, later on, you know, after way after he died, whatever it was, 50, 60 years, they started writing things. During that time, there was a real, real good program on TV that showed that people from sort of his movement tried to go around to different synagogues in the areas where he where he originally lived, and they tried to convert Jews into it wasn't called Christianity, but they right. tried to convert them into you know so. It, that's a whole controversy. Right. Uh, uh, before you go on, is- check check this out. You, you need to check out the book The Mythmaker by Chaim Maccabee, because in it he argues that Jesus was in fact a, a Pharisee, that the Pharisees wanted nothing to do with ki- to killing killing Jesus, and that Jesus right. actually wasn't um, wasn't violating the Sabbath. Um, that there's rules that you can pick fruit on the Sabbath if you're hungry. Um, you're certainly not supposed to die or anything like that. So the the right. the, the right. most blatant violation of the Sabbath was in fact not a violation. At all. Right, right. Scott, okay. tell me about secession. Um, yeah, I just, my whole thing is, I guess, you know, I'm just throwing this out there. If, let's say, Texas wanted to secede, uh, you know, I mean, the whole idea of the people that would argue against it, and maybe even myself, would be that, um, you know, we got together as the United States to kind of pool resources and pool everything. But the thing is, if a state decides to secede, in my opinion, then they have to divorce themselves from any future help from the federal government at that point because they've decided to be an independent entity. Absolutely. And so they should never ask for federal disaster relief or any of those things. Absolutely. Totally agree. And I don't, I really, I realistically don't think in this modern world, the way that we have the United States, I don't think that most states would do very well. I, oh yeah, I, they'd be fine. Opinion. I mean, what's you know, the fe- California'd be fine. It's the seventh largest economy in All the world. All the federal government does is it siphons off money, gives it to a bunch of bureaucrats in Washington D.C., and then returns the rest I of agree. it. So you know, we could have an instant increase in living quality. About by- half of the states are tax negative, and about half of the sta- states are, to some extent, tax positive. And then uh, you know, then then Washington D.C. sits as a city state ruling it all. Yeah, but those are just political yeah. terms, Mark. About tax negative, tax positive. Everybody loses when they get taxed. You and I lose because we don't see that money come back. Only the state governments see the money coming back. This tax negative, tax positive thing has is a statement about, well, as an aggregate, the taxpayers in state A they pay, pay in, they pay into the system more uh, that you know than the state gets back in taxes. That's right. the question about whether it's tax positive or negative. But they themselves, you know, they don't get the money back. It's the bureaucrats I, I who get to blow think- it. In my opinion, I think the thing that ruined it, that it would have worked much better, I'm not saying anything would be perfect, but I think that if we paid in, and I pay, I pay enough in taxes that I could hire 
probably four people additionally on my payroll if I didn't pay any federal state income tax. Mm. The thing is, I think that, you know, the gov- the federal government has gotten way out of line with waste and abuse and fraud, waste and abuse, and that it is really significant and is really huge. But if it all was clicking on, all the cylinders were cl- clicking the way that they should be, it could be kind of a workable system. But Brother, you are a dreamer, a and uh, the world needs dreamers, well, that's for well, sure. But the federal government, uh, you know, governments by their nature are inefficient, and the reason why, and they'll never click on all the cylinders, and the reason why they're inefficient is because they have no accountability. Uh, sure, you can elect some right. new bureaucrat every four years, but or new new politician every four years. But ultimately, the bureaucrats themselves they don't have any accountability for what they're doing. Any any illusion of accountability is just that they throw you a bone every now and then to make it look like they're you know kind of watching themselves. When you, when but, you say, well, let me ask a question because I have run for you know uh, statewide office mm-hmm. and I, I may run again. The thing is, when you say accountability, tell me like it, what would you think that I would do? Like let's say if I got it. Not as a politician. I don't mean the accountability of the politician so much, but the accountability of holding the, the having the ability to hold your own purse strings. Meaning that if I don't like Walmart, I can choose to not shop there, and therefore sure. I can hold them accountable to my own purse strings, and you know, go and take my business to Amazon or Target or some mom and pop store or right. something like that. Right. With the U.S. federal government, if you don't give them money, they might just kill you or put you in a jail cell. So you know, you have to keep paying them typically year after year, regardless of how they spend the money. If you're disappointed with them going to war and blowing billions of uh, dollars up in bombs and killing hundreds of thousands of innocent lives, then you know right. you have to risk going to prison yourself for not paying for that system. And most people aren't willing well, to you, risk what that. Stacked, well, what if you stacked Congress with people that, weren't want, that didn't want to do those things that you're talking about? That would what be if? A, that I mean, would be a nice improvement, but it's pie in the sky because the people who are Congress seeking— Congress ain't Ithaca. That's the, the problem, The Chris. people who are seeking those <laughs> seats are power seekers. They are people who relish the idea of having power over other people. Right, and besides, they're better at getting elected. The people that are w- more willing I'm, to I'm lie like, oh, and more sociopathic are better at getting elected than you and I are. It's true. And, Scott, that's the other true, thing is even if you did successfully replace all of Congress with you know people who actually cared about peace and freedom or whatever— It would still be an immoral system because it's government. It's a state. They force themselves on you. I don't want to be forced to pay for anything that I'm not interested in, whether it's, you know, some sort of theocracy or whether it's blowing people up around the world. I want to opt out entirely, and they don't let me do that. They won't. They generally won't let you do that. They'll put you in a prison cell before they before they do. I thank you, Scott, for your call tonight. Appreciate the perspective. Secession. Chris, didn't I? I'm sorry. Yeah, we were talking about Chris something or yeah. other earlier. Anyway, I appreciate the perspective, and uh, unfortunately, this is a common thing that people will say is that, well, we just need to change out the deck chairs on the Titanic. They've been saying that for 200 years. Every four years, it's the same refrain. We got a deck. Get them all out of there. Get them all out. Put a, put a new bunch in. And then, you know, okay, so you put a few new ones in because yeah, they never change them all out. But yeah, Has put there few- ever been a situation where it's been more than 90%, less than 90% of incumbent selected not in my lifetime that i can recall yeah, no. no i mean when you kick all the bums out that means seven percent instead of four percent were kicked out mm. you no know, we can kick some bums out and then some new bums will come in right right because like you're saying it's the psychopaths the sociopaths the crazy power seeking nut jobs who are gonna go after that and they're gonna go after it with gusto there's a reason that politician is synonymous with liar in this country that's right and it, around the world and even Ron Paul's not there now, so I mean, there's not even one good guy in Congress. The toll-free number here is 855 450 free. Still have the "Lend Me Your Ears" episode. If we get a chance, we'll play more of it. Of course, your calls come first. We're here tomorrow night, by the way. We do the show live seven nights a week. So if you don't get in tonight, we've always got time for you tomorrow. And if we don't get the John Cantley video wrapped up tonight, we'll definitely uh, work on that some more tomorrow. The toll-free number, again, we've got time for you. 855-450-FREE. This is the live Saturday edition of Free Talk Live. Whether you want to talk about Muslims, secession, immigration, we've been all over the map here tonight on our live Saturday show. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. Gabino lives in Palcapata, Peru. He buys old appliances like irons, radios, and TV sets, fixes them up, and resells them. He saw an opportunity to expand his business and needed a loan to buy more appliances. 
Free Talk Live helped him get a loan, and the expansion was a success. You can help us help more people by getting your coffee through coffee.freetalklive.com. Make a difference, one cup at a time. Get a free pound to try out the subscription. Cancel anytime. Coffee.freetalklive.com. Attention men, are you urinating often, waking at night to urinate? We want to send you a free bottle of Super Beta Prostate, made with a natural ingredient that supports healthy urine flow, bladder emptying, and is shown to reduce waking at night from the urge to urinate. You can try Super Beta Prostate free. Only pay shipping and handling. This free giveaway is available while supplies last. For details, just call 800-659-5412. That's 800-659-5412. Call 800-659-5412. What good is a Big Berkey water filter? We get that question a lot here at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. And in a word, the answer is protection. Protection from water main breaks, E. coli contamination, environmental chemical spills, pesticide runoff, chlorine taste and smell, and all forms of fluoride. Plus, Big Berkey water filters are the original gravity water filter system and most trusted on the market for a reason. Tested by multiple independent NSF EPA certified labs, they are the gold standard in water purification. At only 1.7 cents a gallon, a single set of filters can last for 5 to 10 years. That means big savings. Big Berkey, the one that's powerful enough to purify stagnant pond water. Get a Big Berkey today at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. GCN listeners receive 5% off all ceramic filter systems. Visit our website or call 1-877-99-BERKEY. That's 877-99-BERKEY. Big Berkey Water Filters, for the love of clean water. Anyone can publish on the internet, but not everyone is publishing material suited for online reading. According to the Yahoo Style Guide, it cautions that internet content has a few seconds, three or less, to encourage people to read more, to take action, or navigate to another one of your pages. So make it easy for readers to pick and choose. Isn't that the way you poke around online? Use short words, short sentences, short paragraphs, bulleted lists, and short pages. Front load what you write, putting the most important information at the beginning of headlines and paragraphs and sentences. Same goes for your keywords. What someone would likely type into the search box on Yahoo or Google. For more tips on communicating better online or in a job interview or everyday life, hit survivalspeech.com. I'm Holland Cook. Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. Are you a political activist who does things that the government might not like? Then this free ebook may save your life. RATS is your guide to protecting yourself against snitches, informers, informants, agents provocateur, narcs, finks, and similar vermin. RATS was written by OG libertarian Claire Wolf. RATS is a short book, easy to read, and available free in many formats. Download RATS free at rats-nosnitch.com. That's rats-nosnitch.com. While our satellite channel is free to listen to, it's not free for us. You can help us cover our satellite costs with the chip-in on the right side of the page at lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. Moments remain, but enough time for you with your calls and thoughts. If you dial now, the toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Coming up, Mark, March, late March, we're going to Texas. That's right, for the Texas Bitcoin Conference. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's at the Moody Theater in downtown Austin. It was good last year, but I think it's going to be better this year. March the 28th and 29th of next year. It's loaded with the best and brightest of speakers, the latest exhibitions in Bitcoin, as well as hosting the second million-dollar Bitcoin 2.0 hackathon. 
Yay, that's exciting. The last year was amazing, and several good, great projects came out of it. They've uh, even invited the entire Texas legislature to uh, allow them to see firsthand that not enacting complicated regulations encourages innovation and job creation. The Texas Bitcoin Conference is going to prove that Bitcoin is a force for good. If you're knee-deep in Bitcoin or just interested, this is the place to be March the 28th and 29th, along with a kickoff event on the 27th. Right now, they're even doing a uh, white paper call. So if you've got an idea that might make this community grow, please uh, contribute. We'll be there like we were last year. It was a phenomenal event. We're excited to be part of it again in 2015. Head on over to TexasBitcoinConference.com and get Texas tickets and details about the ways you can be part of the second annual Texas Bitcoin Conference. It's TexasBitcoinConference.com. John Cantley is one of the few remaining detainees in the captivity of ISIS. Ostensibly, he's been hosting their video series, Lend Me Your Ears. It's propaganda that they've been putting out over the last several weeks. Usually about once every two weeks, they'll put one of them out there with him sitting at a desk in his orange shirt from uh, presumably what he wears in his prison cell. Didn't they give him, have one him in a suit at one there point? There was one with him walking around on the rooftops of Kobane, which was very different from the others, where he was acting as sort of a reporter, like yeah. an on-the-scene sort of reporter. Now he's back in the studio with his orange shirt back on, and we're going to continue the video here. Uh, he has, so, so far, we, if you're just tuning in, the, the first minute and a half of this was him describing a rescue attempt by the U.S. and the U.K., which was, you know, a very big rescue attempt with lots of money and soldiers and you know helicopters and things like that and he says that isis managed to evade that rescue attempt by moving spending a few dollars on some gasoline and moving them to a different safe location yep. so uh, we continue with his video here from liveleak.com we were horrified they would say that she told al jazeera on september the 13th we were told we'd be, we'd be prosecuted but we had to try and save our son they're talking about the. Uh, he's talking about the parents of James Foley, who wanted to, you know, negotiate with ISIS to get their son out. They were threatened by the U.S. federal government over that with prison. She was told to trust that the government would free James, and he wasn't, was he? Says Diane. Since 2008, France has reportedly paid 58 million in ransom payments to different Islamic groups, nearly 10 million a year. These payments are one of many demands made by different Islamic groups. Wouldn't it just be cheaper to release the Muslim prisoners, as asked? <laughs> but America and Britain have to do it their way, often far more dangerous and costly than negotiating in the first place. Right, so just to remind you, if you've been listening to these videos as we've played them over time or you've seen them on your own, in a previous video, they pointed out that they've asked for a prisoner exchange. They're not demanding millions of dollars for uh, John Cantley. They're not demanding millions of dollars for the other. There's a female American, apparently, that they have in captivity uh, at this point. And they're not asking for millions of dollars. They're asking, hey, release some of our guys and we'll release your guys. But Americans aren't willing to do any of that. They'd rather see them have their heads decapitated, apparently. They refused to negotiate for us. America mounted a botched rescue and then threatened a mother trying to save her son with funding terrorism charges if she raised a ransom. The double standards on display here are breathtaking. Why would you put all those lives in danger when you could have peacefully negotiated like everyone else? Why is a military option always the first option for our countries? Now take the case of Sergeant Bo I would like to speculate on why the military option is the first option because, well, you know, they've got to keep flowing money into their military industrial complex and all their contractors. I mean, I don't like the idea of negotiating with terrorists any more than anybody else does. Um, but, uh, okay, so th th I think that this is the premise of this is flawed. What was John Cantley doing in, um, in the Middle East? Photojournalist. Well, what do I mean? You know, if I go over there to the Middle East to make money and I get snatched up in some, for some way, shape, or form by some government or another, is that that government's business? I mean, is it the United States government's business? I think not. The U.S. taxpayer does not have any obligation to any person who Wait has gone to the Middle East. The government. No, hold on. You're right that the government doesn't have an obligation to protect you. That's been ruled millions of, you know, not millions of times, but a bunch of times. They certainly don't have any obligation to protect you outside their borders. But wait a minute, Mark. They claim to be your protectors, and at the very least, they could at least put a good faith effort into doing that, especially when all they have to do is release some damn prisoners. If the United States government wanted to do the right thing in this case, they could say, hmm, all right, tell you what, 
We'll release the prisoners. You release those prisoners. And in point of fact, we'll admit we've been wrong this whole time with this whole war stuff. And we'll pull all of our troops out. We'll go home. And then that'll be it. You won't have to kidnap anybody else from the United States ever again because we're done with this whole war thing. They can end it all right there. I don't think a country should have troops outside of its borders unless it's at war. Um, Right. So they could end it by giving them their their guys back. Which guys are we talking about and why are they holding them? Well, they've got some cap- captives, and he mentioned them in the, the most recent video. I thought they were sort of talking about prisoners in the United States. We're not talking about uh, criminals? I don't know if they're at Guantanamo or if they're being held in Iraq I don't know somewhere. either. I don't know. It, as far as I'm concerned, if a you know if they committed crimes in the United States, then there's some oblig- then there'd be some obligation That's to hold them. That's not what he them. was talking about. Okay. I'm pretty sure he's talking about people picked up on the battlefield in you know. If you're talking about a prisoner exchange, there's nothing, nothing unusual about that. That's all war. it would take. wouldn't cost any taxpayer dollars to do a prisoner prisoner exchange but it would i cost think a phone call the worst thing here is is that these people can't uh the, the family uh have been ha- families have been right. disallowed from negotiating with these can't folks. lee's employer can't negotiate to get his return either you know if he was wor- i don't know who he was working for but if he was working for the guardian the guardian wouldn't be able to come to the table to negotiate either they'd be prevented from doing that bergdahl held since 2009 by afghans who harbored al-qaeda back in 2001 they demanded five high-profile Guantanamo prisoners in exchange. The Pentagon wanted to keep them. They were the hardest of the hardcore, according to John McCain. But Obama wanted the exchange, and five years after Bergdahl was taken, he got it on June 1st of this year. Ah. Bergdahl was released. So when it's one of the military members, because he said that was, I don't know, was a general, or I forget the rank, he cited the rank of that person. So it's one of Bergdahl? Yeah, he wasn't. It was low rank. Oh, was he? Okay. Yes. But when it's one of the military guys, they apparently went through that uh, deal. There were That's interesting. There were um, negotiations. He was one man. We were six, and the Islamic State asked for Muslim prisoners in exchange for all of us. Yes, Bergdahl was a soldier, and three of us were British. But is a civilian life, or six of them, really not worth discussing? There was no more talk, and we were left to our fate. We are not big people. We are not special. We're not U.S. soldiers. But we are no more or less important than everyone else who went home. The difference being, all the other countries had the patience to negotiate with the Islamic State through the families and friends of the prisoners, while ours leapt in with guns and helicopters. And this was the result. James, Stephen, and David didn't want their deaths to encourage an entire nation into war. And if it comes to it, Please don't let our governments pull the same stunt with us. Because if armed intervention ended the way it did in this situation, why will it be any different on a bigger scale in this region? Indeed. We were left to die. It's the worst feeling in the world, being left behind like that. We'd been in the longest, paid our dues, watched everyone else go home, never stopped believing, and then wham, have some of that. You're not worth negotiating for. Well, I don't think this is just... Be left I mean, behind. He, he seems to be blaming the Western governments for this, but let's not forget who's holding you captive mm-hmm. here, too. Um, you know, the ISIS, ISIS isn't some force of nature. They are a bunch of evil men. And he does... So are the governments. He spends no time... They, they spend no time decrying their own behavior, right? There's no doubt that ISIS is bad. I mean, obviously, you know, he's in their clutches. He really can't say anything. So, yeah, he can't say anything about that, but, uh, you know, I don't know who's worse. The ISIS people or the government people in the United States. I mean, they're all bad to me. I I see them all as competing governments. ISIS wants to be a state. Well, as far as I'm concerned, they are a state if they want to be a state. Yeah, well, I, I would consider ISIS more backwards um, with their the treatment of uh, women and and religion and it that sort of thing. Doesn't mean they're not a state. The they're state's a, a state. group of men and women who, in this case, men uh, who wield violence, uh, political violence over other people for perps, you know, whatever societal, religious, political purposes they have. Yeah, and and certainly the amount of civilians that were killed in Iraq, um, somewhere near a hundred thousand, were, you know, just because there's not videos of their heads getting cut off. We're going to pick up this video tomorrow on the Sunday edition of Free Talk Live. We got about we're about halfway through it, so there's a little bit more to go. Uh, we'll continue with John Kentley at that time. I will post the link on our Facebook, Google Plus, and Twitter, so you can view it on your own discretion. And we'll see you tomorrow night online. In the meantime, at freetalklive.com. I've been told no in many different ways. I give you an order.
and you're going to obey it. Who told you to go this way? You can't do that and you have to leave here. You cannot bring signs into the rally. Walk with me. Well, I'm, I'm, no, I'm comfortable me. here, actually. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, 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 hey. hey. Who do you think you Excuse are? me. There is no video or audio allowed in this office. No, I have work today. This is... You ain't gonna make it. Wait, no, no. Wait a minute. Hey! Oh my god! Unbelievable! Why are you running from Because you're scared of property. What am I being detained for? You're being served. What is this? You're being served. What is this? Bureaucrats have a funny way of telling people no. That's the sound of the men working on the chain. Derek J's Victimless Crime Spree. Watch it for free and order the Director's Cut DVD at VictimlessCrimeSpree.com. If you want to move to the free state and you're looking for some real estate, well, I know a guy who's really great. It's the realtor Mark Warden. Do you want a home with 20 acres, a lakeside cabin, any takers for renters, buyers, and sellers too? Mark Warden is the guy for you. PorcupineRealEstate.com the three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. The live edition of Off the Air Live is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network, LRN.FM. This is the Liberty Beat, your daily source for Liberty news and activist updates online at thelibertybeat.com. I'm Brian Hagan with your Liberty Beat for Friday, November 21st, 2014. Gold closed yesterday at $1,193, up $14. Silver closed at $16.23, up $0.17, cents. and Bitcoin is trading around $353. Today's precious metal price is brought to you by Midas Resources Incorporated, helping clients convert their paper 401ks and IRAs to solid gold and silver. Get their 10 Reasons book free by calling 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. The Liberty Beat is brought to you by eFoods Direct, redefining the way you think about storable food eFoods Direct is offering 10% off to all Liberty Beat listeners. Just go to eFoodsDirect.com slash Liberty Beat or call 800-620-5520 and mention Liberty Beat for your savings today. In the news, a common sense middle ground approach. That's what President Barack Obama called his plan regarding immigration reform as unveiled during a speech Thursday night. I continue to believe that the best way to solve this problem is by working together to pass that kind of common sense law. But until that happens, there are actions I have the legal authority to take as president that will help make our immigration system more fair and more just. The executive order means those undocumented immigrants who have lived in the United States for five years or more, who are the parents of either American citizens or lawful residents, will not be deported. Before that would happen, they would have to undergo criminal and national security background checks. Their status would be reviewed every three years. A Wednesday night, early Thursday morning protest at police headquarters in Ferguson, Missouri, led to several arrests. The St. Louis Post-Dispatch says the arrests stem from a peaceful but noisy rally that led to the short-term closure of a local roadway. Police have not publicly stated why the arrests were made. The protest comes as the grand jury decision regarding the death of unarmed 18-year-old Michael Brown by the gun of police officer Darren Wilson is awaited. Protesters with the Occupy Central movement have been occupying major roads in Hong Kong for eight weeks now, despite an apparent drop in support. Founders of Occupy Central have also proposed that these student protesters find other forms of protest, citing backlash from the community as the reason for change. The Liberty Beat, sponsored by Central Texas Gunworks, your online source for firearms, firearm accessories, and ammunition. 